them here. This is Boom Boom, aka World Boom, the Billboard selector. And me I represent for Ryan LFC to get the latest Reggae Boys content. Just hit that like and subscribe button. And the Operation Ball Game, I say, knock it, Ryan. Good evening, good afternoon, Reggae Boys fans. Whenever you're watching about this exclusive interview with former Reggae Boys player, I'm not going to tell him name because I don't really want to butcher the man name. So I want to tell you guys, I really appreciate the support you guys have given to Ryan LFC. And this is going to be a very good interview. Remember, don't forget to check out the merchandise, people. Yes, the Reggae Boys merchandise, we have it. A lot of different Reggae Boys merchandise. So if you don't want Reggae Boys Nation, we have it Reggae Boys. So make sure you check it out. We have cups, we have hat, we have hoodie, we have tights, we have bag, we have everything when it comes on to the Reggae Boys. So we are doing it. And don't forget to check out Cards Plug. Use the coupon code Ryan LFC today. 10% off. Everything will be done in the description. So how are you guys doing, man? Good to see a lot of you guys on the stream so far. Um, big up to all of the people them. Please, I'm begging you guys. Don't make me have to uh, stop the interview and I beg for like. Just once you join the chat, make sure you like it. If you're watching back on the replay, tell me some of your favorite moments with the former Reggae Boys player. So, without further ado, let's welcome my former Anik Garden player, Tivoli Garden, Portmore, and a lot. So, let us bring on Errol Anthony. Stephen, I hope I don't bush at the name. So welcome, my brother. Good evening. Yeah, man, bro. Thanks for having me, and good night to your viewers as well. I don't mm. bush at your name, brother. Come on, Errol Stevens. The sauna is funny. All right. <laughs> and I hear you good. All right, all right. I really, really appreciate that. But Errol, how are your family doing before we get into the interview? Or COVID and everything? How are your family doing? Yeah, man. Everybody healthy. Unfortunately, uh, none of us have caught the this the virus as yet and yeah i just come in from training with the kids you know me i try bring the two boys me along in the sport so just had to come back inside and you know be here good to see your part your knowledge what you learn in the sports back to the kids so it's very important you know i wish my father was a football player where he could have tell me all of these great thing you know that's how i can learn when i becomes a better football and all of these stuff so yeah you're doing some great work with the kids man yeah, man, yeah, man, I have my whole community right now coaching, you know, just a try pass on. We learn a lot and, you know, uh, leave the earth with all to one pass it and just like how we could have learned from the ones before as well. So it's a joy, really a joy if you give back in this way. All right, most definitely. So Earl, I want you to tell us a little bit about your childhood life growing up in Jamaica. Where are you from? Which school you attend? Talk out to us. Mm, all right, so I was born... Grew up in Port Moulin, a place called Port Moulin, in a Port Moulin. Uh, moved from Port Moulin to Greater Port Moulin, two east, in between two east and Seaview Garden. Yeah, my father lived at Seaview, my mother lived at Greater Port Moulin, so kind of just fought up on the weekend, mother during the week and school. Yeah. Attended uh, Port Moulin Prep, the on Passage Fort Drive. Yeah, that's something up that, in a nutshell. So, what is it like growing up as a young man in Jamaica, financial-wise, though? Mm, financial-wise, uh, we, ne we never have we never have a lot. Uh, like I said, I grew up in a single parent home mostly. I grew up with my mother. And, you know, when parents uh, separate, there's a lot of drama that come with that, with our household growing up. So there was a lot of rough times. I never have everything how I would want it or how most kids would have it. But... We give thanks and we have to thank God for football because without football, I don't know what I would be today. You get what I mean? Yeah. So we still have to give thanks because God have a plan for all of you. And just me not having my father at home, we spend more time with the football because when he was around, that was his thing. My father used to play football. He never was super pro, but he played like major league back in the days. I'm used to go watch him. So when he leave, the football was like the way home could have still stay close to him. You know what I mean? Yeah, he used to play in jersey, then he used to try to imitate him to some extent. And, yeah, man, and that was... So football has been everything. So your mother and father, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of parents. My parents didn't want me to um, become a footballer, a professional footballer. 
always she says she wants to see me coming home in a jacket and tie and all of these things. What your father and mother want you to be? Uh, good question. Uh, to be honest, my father wasn't around during, as I said, I want to go look for him on some weekends. And my mother, she never have the education, like, in terms of school-wise. So she was a hustler. My mother always travel, bring back barrel, give me a sweet if I go to school. I go prep school, I sell sweet, what I'm bag and everything. So I grew up with a hustle mindset. I never have anybody around me to direct me in terms of what I wanted to be. So therefore, all I could have done was play football. I used to just play, used to play football morning, noon, and night. We used to have neighbor where we wait up in front of the yard because... As morning light, me in front of them yard, I kick ball upon them wall. So nobody never guide me, if you be honest with you, in terms of what I should become. I was just left to be, yeah, man, me, me, me free for do as me like. As I say, if me want to go on the bad side of Jamaica, we could have been, because I was that free, because no, there was nobody. My mother spent, when I was growing up, maybe six months out of the year overseas. She might left me with somebody, different home, sometimes stay with a friend. For, for three months till she come back or something like that and I was free to do what I wanted yeah most of the time you talk about um, prep school so like you know most most Jamaican kids when they hear talk about prep school their mother have it can't afford it uh, why prep school though uh, to be honest before I was an accountant and he have a good job and I just know that I went to a prep school but like I said when the divorce come into play Everything was kind of like, all right, you pay the school fee, you go prep school. But I fall off a lot with the schoolwork because I had nobody to help me with the homework. And, and yeah, so I was just, it was a prep school, but I was just attending school as a child. It wasn't any special place to me because I wasn't taking school seriously, to be honest. I didn't do great in school, but I did enough. Yeah. Most definitely. So, um, which um prep school you attend and which um high school you attend and stuff? Yeah, man, we go Portmore Prep and pass it for drive, and them call it PG Academy now. And we used to go Greater Portmore High School. Okay, so you play Manning Cup for Greater, Greater Portmore, Portmore High School? Yeah, yeah. man, we play, we play as a defender. We play as a midfielder. Because I was, you know, I said, you know, I, said I was the best in the school, but yeah. I was one of the few, no, we can't say me the best because... We have good players in the early days. Like Rene Lyon used to go get a former high school and he moved on to Dunyon. Dunyon most, yeah. people, most people know him as Che. You know him as Che too from yeah, Che. che. Yeah. Richard Edwards go get a former with me to him left but Dunyon. But throughout the whole years, me I probably wanted to own a only bar that we never take a left go to a better school. Yeah. So me used to play defense because I was that good in terms of being able to play. So we just, yeah. So we'll get all for 14 and 16 from the big school then. Most definitely. So now, big school never come and say, "Oh, let's let's take with, um this good player. Let's bring him at Jamaica College or KC or Excel or Olmans." Mm, to be honest, yeah. Could, to be, yeah, man. To be honest, we could have got judges in the seventh grade. I think if me have, let me say, if me have the right structure around me parenting, yeah, let me know how important school is. Mm -hmm. Me take the opportunity. But let me say, with the turmoil, with the relationship with the parents, them, me never when them come is like nobody never did ever push me for God here. And when we, when I was supposed to go to Calabar, I went to Calabar one day and then I left. I left Calabar. I went to the orientation and I left and then I started to work because I just I just had to provide for myself more than it was more important to provide for myself than for go school in the real life. Most definitely. So, at what age do you know you have a talent for football? At what age do you start to play football, though, Era? Mm, to be honest, I didn't play football in prep school. I only wanted to check and feel because the prep school never had a football team. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, man. So my first, my first, first game, as in professional game, would have been Pepsi. Pepsi for Greater Portmore. Greater Portmore. So what is it like to play um, Pepsi for Greater Portmore? Yeah, yeah, man. It was exciting. I think Pepsi was a good year for us. We had, it was, we had good players. Let me say, me and Rene like play together. We used to have a, a, a youth named Lorenzo Jackson. The best player me ever me ever seen to play for Jamaica up to this day. Not play for Jamaica, but the best player me ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah man. So Pepsi was really good. It was a good experience. I gave up track and field because we just never liked the training, too much running. And yeah, we just we just grew from that. Most definitely. So you went on and play um calls, you went on and play Manning Cup for Greater Pokemon, right? Yeah, man, we just play calls. Yeah, man, calls, Manning Cup for Greater Pokemon. Okay, so 
as you say, you didn't graduate where you graduate, no subject or anything at the time. I get that proper. Three, three, three CXE, at least high school. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Mm, uh, oh. Accounts, baby, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Better than me. You leave Excel side one subject. So, I'm doing good for yourself. You can help yourself. But talk to me when you leave high school. When you leave high school, what next for, for you? Uh, like I said, I, I left Greater Portmore and I went to Calabar for one day and then I went to work as an accountant. Like I said, my dad had an accounting firm mm -hmm. and when I was when I was doing my CXE at the time, you know, sometimes them ask if you do job experience. Mm -hmm. So I so I went to my father's office to do the job experience. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time I could literally well, I do the job experience, and then the summer after I graduate, I'm going to work for him for the summer. And it was the first time me ever I earned money for myself. And the first time me ever have to wait till my father to carry uh, money come give me for buy a grocery. Or at the first time I could have make sure that the bills didn't pay up on time and stuff like that. So when me if I start Calabar the September, I realized that if I start go back to school, I'm going to go back to the fridge, maybe not full of food, maybe. The bills them the pay up on time. And we just decide panda day day. So I go work full time and just about that a school thing. Okay. Yes. So you have play money if you continue with a play money for Calabar. Yeah, me have play me have to skip out one year. Me have, me, I was doing an extension fifth farm and then the following year me have got six farm. So me have to skip one year and then I pay for Calabar. Okay. Yeah. So all that come about. You go you know, so that was well that was while playing money cup. We played again against Calabar. I think that was the only game I won. And that was the only game I was playing in the midfield because I was playing different the whole season. And I think it was the last game of the season I would beat them now. 3 2 on the score, actually against them, up for them score. Wow. Yeah. A big baller, long, yeah, big baller from a long time then, man. You know, so I wouldn't say big baller, but I always been somebody who work hard in terms of I always I try to develop something else. I like growing up, used to idolize like Fat Ronaldo and Ronaldinho and like everything them do, I try to imitate it and just always I try to improve. So I think I just that over the years. Most definitely. So what is it like working at your father company if you know that your father is the boss? Or, or, or you, you know, like some kids that say, yo, oh, my father is the boss. I don't have to do any work and thing, but I still will get paid. Or, or, or you feel at the time working at your father company? You and your sister work at your father company at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Me work first, but my sister follow after. To be honest, anybody who work for family, they probably tell you, say, you do the most work. Yeah. yeah man, yeah man. Working for my father, I think I do a lot of work. Uh, um, <laughs> my sister, my sister used to trouble me, so me had the accountant and the bearer. You know yeah. one, yeah man, cause me do the office work, and if not for go up on the road, I me go up on the road, go tax office, go file the return, the I go NHT, go file the return, the I go NIS. We do everything. Uh, but the good thing about working for my dad, him give me the time for go training. So me have to thank him for that. He never like. Call me down to the office alone. So, cause at the time me to play for Tivoli, mm -hmm. uh, the first Premier League team me to play for was Tivoli. I me to play under twenty one. So, him allow me for come work and leave early for go training. Or uh, if me have morning training, him allow me for come training and then come and work. So, him give me that and me have to thank him for that. Okay, fair enough. But at what at um when you say you play for um Tivoli, when 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 you start to play for Tivoli, which year is two thousand nine? Hmm, I wish you go to Tivoli. Why times go? I'm going to tell you when you go to Tivoli. Just a second. We can check it. Under 21, if you really left school, well, I left school 2003. Yeah, man. When 16. So maybe around. You play. For... I think around 2006, I play for Tivoli. Under 21. Not Premier League. I come leave Tivoli. I mean, they go back in you know, 11. Okay. So, so yeah, you play for, you play for um, Tivoli 2007, 2008. So you play under 21 for yeah. Tivoli Garden. Tivoli Garden. At that time, Tivoli was a monster team in the Premier League. You know? Yeah, man. They monster. Very man. good player. Kasai Hines, they have Kasai the good Hines, team. Christopher, Christopher Baita at the time. Baita. They have some very good players. Roland Dean. Roland Dean. I think Navian yeah. was. You play under 21 in Navian. Yeah, Navian play under 21. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. I remember, remember, remember playing. Um, remember after a couple years after, them time I was ball boy at Boston, so I knew a lot about the, 
the Jamaican Premier League. So, working in your father, playing under 21 for Tivoli, but you come from Portmore, why you play for Tivoli? Why you go to Tivoli? Why, why you go to Tivoli? You know, you know, sir, if you be honest, the first time when we go, all right, when we go to Portmore United, I was at Portmore United before we go to Tivoli. Mm-hmm. Like I said, when, when Portmore United saw me playing, they saw me playing for Greater Portmore as a defender. Mm-hmm. But me here playing defense. I only played because the coach they asked me to play because the team never have no good defender. Mm-hmm. So I was actually at Portmore that whole summer at train, but Portmore United don't want to use me as a defender. Mm-hmm. And that was my first encounter with uh, Orius Reed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And I said to him, we'd have played a practice match up at Kansan Spring. And I said to him, say, manage me can't play defense. And he said, if I can't play defense, if I leave the team, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just leave. Because at the time, to be honest, for me, I think we're better than a lot of players we're having at the attack. But you talk about, you talk about Steve Morrissey, Brian Bayless, Ricardo Cousins. The two um, cousins, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You, have, you, have, you have the Wolf brother them. For me, yeah. you are come from Greater Puma High School. The talent might be there, but as I said, everything that Jamaica can name and start and start. Mm-hmm. And status, so he would give you the time of day over them play there. Eric Vernon, me and all of them you there. Me, me, me play with them, but I me sweep the team. Me I tell you, and at that time, they more bring me to the Jamaican program as a sweeper. That that was before me even met national team, not not all. Just based off of my body and my size, mm-hmm. them said me to make the perfect defender. But as I said, if me can enjoy the game, me na go me na go play the game. If me can enjoy. So so. When they start out playing for Greater Portmore, they play as a defender because mm. they have they don't have much defender. But mm. what a natural position? Because you know you can play attacking midfield, you can play striker, you can play wing, anywhere across the attacking going forward. You're very good at that, Naldo. Mm-hmm. So where's the best position to play? I think my best position to be honest is a number 10, being a striker. Uh when time I'm free for go anywhere on the field. Mm-hmm. Or when we pick up the ball, we can run at people. Yeah, man, I think that's my best. I think I think the best me ever play in a Jamaica are when uh, T got a coach me on it. On it, God. When T got the first coach, where tell me say if I pass a ball, I'm gonna take me off of the field. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, and so, that because yeah. Me, he, he always a jivy jivy, and he always you are run to everybody. So that's yeah. an instruction from T got Davis. Yeah, man. If you if you can remember well that that tournament, uh, the Clare Cup, we play before the league start. We are playing the number ten. In that tournament, we have every from Tuffy to all of them. Tuffy them will beat at the final. We get top scorer. We get MVP at the tournament, and we win the cup only because Tiga tell me say if I pass the ball, I'm gonna take me off. Because as him say, when me in a training, me take the ball from half line, I'm going at the goal with the like, same thing you want me doing a match. Okay, fair enough. So, so, I just, so yeah, 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 yeah. So hey, him, go ahead, him, go ahead. As I said, he gave me the freedom, and that was a, a, a big change in my game. As in, he allowed me to express myself. He never chained me down. And I think most coach over the years try to do me that. Okay, fair enough. Mm. Coach T. Got Davis, bring me back on it, Ghana. He gave you that license to room. So, you play for Tivoli. Um, as you said, you leave, you leave Portman because you don't want to play defense. So, mm. you go to Tivoli Garden. So, when you go to Tivoli Garden, they allow you to play the number 10. Uh, which position are you going to make the Tivoli team? I'm going to Tivoli me to play as a striker. I'm play as a striker. Me and boys, me and Avian boy that play forward. Okay. Yeah, man. I will, I will come second in that season there. I see him Portmore win the, win, the, win the league. I will come second. But I was the leading goal scorer for the team. 14 goal. I think maybe up to now, I'm not going to say I'm the only player to do that, but I score a trick and then I score four goal back to back. Ask, yeah, man, yeah, man. Actually, can and, and four goals in one game back to back, yeah, man. Okay, so you play so, but you're he's from Portmore, so I don't understand why you go at Tivoli. Why Tivoli do I know that's a community where a lot of people say it's a bad community? Bad community. You know, so, so to be honest, me have a virgin when he's Scooby, he come in uh, Jamil Thompson, you know, if you know, he's play for Arnie too, he yeah, man, we know, we know Jamil Thompson, man, you know, yeah, man, I him used to live near me at Portmore, and I him carry me go down at Tivoli, because we oh. know nothing about Tivoli, nothing at all. So, you never afraid, yeah, man, we feared, man, because we never walk through them places, you know, you have to see everything, yeah, for real. For yeah, real. So the first few days we got training, but as we say, when you go there and the man, them see how you play ball, you man, you get all, you end up start love down there, you get all for respect from everybody, be a love. 
True. Yeah. So when me when when me support me supposed to play for Tivoli, you know, but then <laughs> I want to release my from boy stuff. So me end up he go on it. And okay. so where 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 Tivoli train at the time over the high school? No man, we train over upon the field. Prison over. Man. Over prison over hour. No prison over. Where anyway. man? Um, railway, yeah, 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 Rest in peace to, to Chris, because I'm going to drop out. I don't know if you know Chris, yeah. but he's a coach. I mean, man, Chris, you just coach. But, hey, nobody at Rima could do Chris nothing. No, man, Chris, 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 Chris coach everybody in the brother. I remember mean, Chris a coach long time, you know, so anybody who are somebody know Chris, I know Sadus Ball. So then when they used to coach, coach me under 20 level. Everybody. Play under 20 with, 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 with Shaka and Raka and, and who are they looking at you there? Most definitely, most big up to the teacher, the founder for the YouTube when it come out the football thing. So when me see the boss come to me, I have to salute him. So big up to Simon Preston, love and yeah, there. Reggae boys coming to you, yeah, man. Big, big up, up, big up, big up, big up, Simon. Big up, man. People, please, I'm begging you guys. We have almost 150 you guys in the building. If you guys can smash the like button, yeah, um, man, hit the like button for the boss. Come on, hit the like button. So, all right, you play for Tivali. So, um, you play National League for Tivali. Yeah, during that period of time, he was the first player as an under twenty one player for play for the senior team, even before Navian Boyd. Yeah, me the first, yeah, man, yeah, man, me the first one play. Wow. But but to be honest, I'm gonna leave Tivoli that the following season, and I think me, me, me never, I don't think me ever even get, me ever get the props with that because the way we go to your interview, we feel like we can tell you a lot if we never get to express across. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. I don't know to say share your story, you know. Yeah, man, for be real. So when me, when 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 we play under twenty one that season, day, me, I'm a, like me say, most the top score, fourteen goal. I'm going to the senior team. Mm -hmm. I think the following season, we feel like me never ever get the chance to play with the senior team, and not because of talent. Because anytime we train with them, with a Kasai, with a Iggy, with a Roland, I just love. The way them show me all for love and I say, yo, I'm in the team and Ray. But something for me, me just couldn't in the team and me just feel like, say, yo. And as I say, me I'll be honest with you, boys, he get a bigger push than me for going at the team. I don't know why, but me just feel like, say, maybe, him, if, if because he come from the area too. Yeah, man, too, no man. Natural, nat naturally, bro. Natural, once you come, let me tell you something about Tivali. Say, Tivali and Boystone, yeah. you have to go there and be great for play. Yeah. You have to play over the money who come from the community. Because yeah, the money yeah. all look out for them community ballers. So, probably in hindsight, probably is the case you're not from there, they're going to give. And Navian boys are talented player. Yeah, man. So, can, and let me tell you, they can't take that from boys. I think me and that season, they will come second, we score 14 goals. I think boys will score 11 goals. We can't take away nothing from him. And as I said, this is nothing to take away nothing from the baller. True. We'll have a baller. We just like give it frank as it is. So, when my sister, me now get the push mm -hmm. to play, we just left. The, we left the January. And I don't want to tell you when we left, too, we are lead in the under 21. I'm going to play under 21. We are lead the league. I'm left for Arborview. Mm -hmm. Because at the time, me know say said, if I play for Arborview or Portmore, I'm going to get called. Mm -hmm. And that was just the thing in a Jamaica football. In my time. If you play for one of them clubs, it's like you can walk with the national team. True. And you want to play for the national team? Yeah, that, everybody, everybody. That's our dream. Yeah, so you leave you leave Tivoli Garden and went to Arborview and next big house. How big house. you found out at Arborview, your career found out at Arborview? You get the game time where you want to play in the National Premier League or you just go and play under 21 again? You know, so we'll go, we'll go the half season, we'll play one game, one match, you know, and the next match, we we'll under 23 camp. Mm -hmm. Jamaica under 23 camp. Yeah. And, so, it was un and it was under the coach, Bora. But is it is it is it you go on loan at Arborview or you go? No, me take a transfer. Me take a transfer. Take a transfer. But me see this what that's a 2009 you go to Arborview. You go to Arborview 2009. Yeah. Because mm, maybe. I don't I don't know if they would have record the under 21 process because during the period of time they I just under 21 play for Arborview. We never had the senior team till the end of the season. Okay, so you go to Arborview 2009 and stuff. Yes. So you, you play for the senior team and how many years are you playing under 21? 
We play under 21. Right, we finish the season. The following season, we win the under 21 league. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The first. Work for the player upon this Aberview team, though. Because Aberview always have some good young players. Good ball. All right. You have, you have Andre Fagan. You have Dikai Williams. You have Gervan Brown. You have Manchos Finn. You have Lance Lang. You have a youth named JJ. Uh, or JJ first name. Rich, I know Richard's have last name. Uh, yeah, man. That I mean, Kaka. You're supposed to know Kaka. Yeah, man. I know, know Kaka. Kaka, you just come from Nunga Rima. Yeah, just... I don't remember Kaka full name neither. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was yeah. a good midfielder too. Yeah, man. Proper, proper. General, general. Yeah, man. Our team that. I will win the league. I don't think we'll lose even three matches for the whole season. We'll win the league flying colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I'm going to go up in the senior team too. Them telling me I play with. Uh, we get a couple games, we get around four games, even though the senior team win the league and let me help them because you have, Jer you have Fabian Germany, and you yeah, Fabian Taylor. Where you just no, the first season, the German you never did it. A Fabian Taylor and Kevin Bryan, I top Kevin Bryan was the striker. Who was the left yeah. back? Scarlet, Scarlet, the time 2009. No, no, no tell you, we start the season, uh, bloody, bloody right name, you, you know, bloody, um, uh, remember bloody right name, you bloody right name. I remember him right now, but he, he used to play for Portmore and he come at Arbor View. Yeah, oh. Bloody like a style, I can't remember him right now, but yeah, man. And then Scarlett come half season. I think Jeremy you come half season that time. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. But, uh, but uh, Kevin Bryan was the, was the boss of that well, season. Was it was it top, man? Yeah, was... in the whole league that season. Uh, yeah, yeah at, at, at the first, yeah, man. I remember that. I remember that. But so, how long you stay at Arbor View? You stay at Arbor View... Well, I was there about you. Maybe two, maybe two, two, three year. Mm -hmm. Mainly I play, we play under 21, we get a couple Premier League games. We travel with the team, go play Kanka Cup Champions League. But at the same thing, we left our view too. Play, lack of playing time. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. All right. So, boy, you move from club to club, Bridging. You love movie, Bridging, but. You go yeah, back. Man, you, you go back to when you leave Arbaview, right? Mm -hmm. You go back to what? Portmore or on it? When we leave Arbaview, we go on it. You go on it. So you go when you play for on it. You go back to Portmore. We go back to Portmore when we come from Russia. I think when we come back from Russia, we go back to Portmore. Yeah. Yeah. You sure. Because this I tell me say you go. You you went. You went to um. Portmore and then you go on it. Yeah, man. Yeah, so me, me go Portmore. Oh, before. Portmore, you go, man. You go Portmore. Can me remember? You go Portmore and then after when you go to Russia, when you play for on it, you go to Russia. Yeah, no, no, man. When time come on it, I go to Russia already. You go to Russia and come back. 2009. Yeah, so two times you go to Russia. One time you go to Russia. One time you go to Russia and then you go, um, we get into that still, but talk about yeah. the time playing at Portmore and then we we'll go back to on it, yeah. Mm, I'm about Portmore. It was a it was a good it was a good short stint. If if, if me have a totally honest with you why I stop because I don't think a Portmore will even complete the whole season. Mainly because a financial situation. Hmm. As I said, they promise them promise X amount and and, and it's good for talk about them thing at all. But they are Portmore, I think at the time at twenty five thousand them they want to pay me. I mean mm -hmm. twenty five thousand Jamaican dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, as a big man. Yeah man and but as I said, I never had to watch the money because at the time, me had work as an accountant. So it mm. was not money thing. As I said, I run down playing time because I love the sport and I just want to play. Anywhere I can play, yeah, play more and play. So yeah. And when I did a port more, and one week, them give a check for 10,000 Jamaican. I have to wait three weeks more if you get a check for 15,000. Mm. And I just never feel like it, you work my time. That, that, and, and this, I'll be honest with you. I'm mean, not I mean, I cut, I mean, I try to pretty up, man. Yeah. We just never feel like it worked my time and we just stop. We never remember when the season stop. I think we played the first 12 games and then we just stop. Mm. And we just work for the rest of the year. Yeah. So going back to Arnick Garden, more know your salary at Arnick Garden, you know, cause that's a long yeah. time. More yeah. know how much you get to Arnick Garden because these people that know Arnick Garden, they love you like cooked food, which I don't know what, but every time you touch it, when you play for Arnick Garden, the crowd go wild. So what is it like playing for Arnick Garden? Because me believe, me know you become, me, me really know when you play for Arnick Garden. Would you say your, your, your name in Jamaica? 
old soul name in Jamaica when you play for Arnett Yard like you, at your peak of your time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Definitely. And as I say, Arnett was a special place in my heart for every reason. You get me? Because it was a... Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, everything lead to on it. So I stop work. I stop play for Portmore. more. I'm mm. start focus on the nine to five. But when we realize, like, at some point, because me already got a Russia, and I get for tears for real money for you, like, me I say, yo, me need for left back the country. But while working for my father, I realize, say, me can't put out the same kind of energy we me to put out when me there Russia. Mm-hmm. And it, it take a deep mid for you realize, say, you know, say, because you work, I guess what, you're there Jamaica, football in Jamaica, you know, professional enough for me to put out my 100%. Mm-hmm. So therefore, I realize, say, yo, I nah give my 100 and I mean, because I have to work, I have to get up 4 o'clock in the morning, press clothes, get ready, jump on a bus in a greater port, more, stand up on the bus at hour and a half, come off a crossroad, walk from crossroad, go up a wall up road. They are work all day and then go training. You can't perform at the best like that. And when I realized that when I did there in Russia, because of only football, I could have focused on me to see more productive. And to be honest with you, when I go play for Arnett, I actually quit my work with my father. I think a month before, I tell him to make a focus on football alone, even though nothing never that go on. I said to him, say, yo. And to be honest with you, I almost feel like my father malice me for a month. <laughs> when I tell him to be done with the work and I go play your ball alone. I'm coming down to Arnett, to be honest with you. Yeah. And as we say, without after we mentioned T got cause without him, minute cause after Anne we get called for Jamaica team mm-hmm. for the first time. When we come on Anne, I just love, but it's also the environment where we fall in a car guess what? The first time we come on it, come try out. If you even be honest with you, before that, most of the ball in the laugh. As I say, I move on a different club. Mm-hmm. You have no friends with their Arborview, you have no friends with their mm-hmm. T Valley, you have no friends with their Portmore. And then see you say, and them time the most people feel like they're done. To be honest with you, that time they, in the in the Arnett era, they never had win nothing at the time. Mm-hmm. And most of the ball of them were come there, a ball like me, with box boat, and now nah, we not done. done. I come for the money. Come for the money. Yeah, money, cause most people say answer the money, but the ball of them were we are good. Eh? We never had to peak or maybe lack of confidence. Cause to me, you think that that reached me. Mm-hmm. We just never had a fall at the right coach and for for honest the talent. You see me? And as we say, when we got on it. T got no know me before that, none at all. Zero. And I only after maybe two or three training sessions, the man take me and the man build the team around me completely. And as we said, remember the first match we played against Waterhouse, you know, the group stage. And the first half, my nervous because I'm saying, I need full of fans and I'll be a nice them and make and, you know, so my nervous. So the way I'm looking, I guess, so the people could have seen the talent from training session. As we said, training the, full like game, like man. Training full level. like game. And everybody say, yo, who the youth? Hey, 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 hey. But it's when the first match start, because of the lack of confidence we meet have. The first half start and every ball will get me a leg up. And I'll be a bad pass, me and me can, hey, hey, hey. you get me? And we're under two love first half. And as I said, me remember like yesterday, T got said to me after him, said, Nalo, if you go out there, you pass one more ball, me I take you off. The man said, every training session, you take the ball, you run on everybody. And as I said, we go out the second half, me not give nobody no pass. The only pass I give, I will miss it, Kirk Ramsey a goal, and the next one, I'm kicking it back in it. And from that, every match I score. Can't feel it. Yeah, man, every match I score. I still can remember, like, yesterday, half line, I take one pan, I run past everybody at Alba View, all the goalkeeper, I'm going to push them things there, <laughs> which I could get them highlighted. Like yeah, man, but from half line, me alone take the ball. Me I remember, look. man, because when I was you know, when I was youth, I play for Excel sign, you know, I'm going to go up on it, and then the boys turn on it, play, and think. And yeah. Enough time, Angie Price. I say, yo, mark him. Don't yeah. give him no space. Don't make yeah. him turn. If he might guard the bathroom, guard the bathroom with him. I saw yeah. Angie Price. May I listen to the halftime talker? May I tell you, say, I suck on me, no, you ain't a bridging. Yeah. I, the ball that kicks your bridging, and you take it down, so bridging. You're always full of touch, brother. That yeah. way, when you play, brother, excitement and thing, brother. And your movements on and off the ball, brother, may I tell you. You that kill them and not realizing when I come and I play under 20 for Arnett Yard. Bridging, I know Arnett usually change two times a day, brother. Mm-hmm. And you come the earliest in the morning and at the evening you come and you go in at the gym and you go on the pitch, brother. So what inspired for you say, yo, you have to come earlier training at Arnett Yard and put in the work before any player come in. You know, you know, so if you be honest, 
we just think that apart, even even now we don't play football, we still have the mentality there. But to be honest with you, when we left Jamaica, we get to see how professionals operate, how them train. You get me? And I'm not say local, we can't be that, but we can tell us financially, we don't have the support there. The players them not get no money. But even though we can't say we never get no money, I'm still put out the work. Mm-hmm. I just need that, brother. I'm a hard working, no matter what I do. Yeah, man, I can't stop work hard. So that was just my way to get for the advantage from players. When they are training early, I always try to improve. If you know my left foot not strong, but my work on it, and it end up come save me whole for time and score, and score whole for goal. So I just that. I know so we are putting away a get brother. Anything in the life, a way you put in a way you get back. So me and me didn't know say, and it was just a stepping stone in terms of a left back go overseas. Yeah. You see me? So what is salary when you play for Annie Gary and Britain? What is salary when you are when you play for Annie? 45,000 Jamaican. 45,000. Can me remember when O'Neill Bigger Tom said I play for Annie? You know? 75,000 cash on it again. Yes. Yeah. No, as I tell you, say, remember, say, me and left come and earn it with no name. Yeah. No, nothing. When you come and earn it, yeah. me and so, nobody. So, how many seasons you spend at Annie, though? Never spend one full season because at the same season, let me get a uh, call for Jamaica team. We go play. Uh, what is the name? Uh, Colombia. Colombia. Yeah, with Falco and them. And and then after that, we get the contract for go to Vietnam for the first time. The first time I go to Vietnam was right after that. So I saw me left on it and go to Vietnam. Okay. So you leave on it, Garden, and you go to Vietnam and stuff. Um, all that come about when you go to Vietnam. That's the second yes. time you're leaving, leaving yes, out that second, country. Second time you leave the country, yeah. We left with an agent named uh, Mosiah Marshall. By, uh, by, Byron Marshall, I think that's right. Mosiah. He's from Marshall. Jamaica. He's yeah, a Jamaican agent. He mostly lives in the States, but a Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And him carry me, Andre Clennon, Mario Suebi, and a youth from Canada who got Vietnam for the first, first time me I got Asia. Mm-hmm. Here we go. And when we reach, we have to do some work for a different child in a different club. Because I just saw it going to Vietnam. Yeah, man. It's just a different place. So we are trying out the work for other final. And the coach them pick who them like based on the position with them want. Mm-hmm. And that's how we get signed the first time. Yeah, so what's the club they play for in in, 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 in Vietnam? Yeah, the first first team play for was a team named Anna A C B. Okay, so what it is like? What's the difference with playing in Jamaica and playing in Vietnam? What are some of the things where you learn and uh, and stuff, your experience over in Vietnam and the food, all the food wise and stuff and the liberty and stuff. Talk to me. Yeah, man, the, the, everything different, brother. The food is a total different thing. I'll be a soup, mainly soup, natural food. But even the culture different. As I say, it's a more peaceful country. But the, but the, the football-wise, it was a it, it was a shock. It was, it, was a, it was a big, big, big culture shock. As I say, even with Thailand, when we play, at the first country where we literally did have to do blackboard work as a footballer. As in, we have to go in with coaches and sit down and then teach me. How the team play, how to move, to understand my teammate them better. Uh, you will, would have been somebody to say, we touch them good? No. I went to Vietnam for the first time, I used to say, touch them poor. We pass in poor. I used to always get pressure, so I pass them too soft. Uh, when I made it, I just sat in Jamaica, we have the worst pitch them. You know, more time you play ball with a man, you pass a ball too hard, give me say, brother, what kind of ball you give me? You see, too hard. Mm-hmm. And we tend to pass ball in Jamaica to the comfort of our teammate because we know so they feel no good. Mm-hmm. You see me? But overseas, quite even Asia, as I said, Jamaica play Vietnam in our in our friendly match, a three of them get. And mm-hmm. even when even I talk to Sharpman that I reach out, it was him play another match there. Sharpman said the first him see players that make pass from defense to forward. Balls to ball fly past him. I mean ground pass from ground. The Asian player them them way more technical, technical. And technical than we by far. And these are those facts, I tell you. It took me a while to adjust to the speed of play, to everything, I tell you, brother. And at that time, I was at my prime. Mm-hmm. And, but as we say, because I have the talent, I just adjust, I just learn, I learn. Till I end up just dominate just the same, because I say, just the environment. And once you to improve yourself. So, yeah, it was a learning, it was a learning phase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how many goals you score? How many goals you score over there and stuff? Because I know you're big in a Vietnam in a bitch. Fans them love you. Yeah, man. My last club I'm leave, I score oh, 42 goals in 89 game. I score a goal every other every other game. Wow. Three so, years. 
So all the managers are a player with strong, you can use both feet and all them oh 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 you think the defender them up against it. Cause it look like you just shoot them down out of the way, brother. I'm not gonna lie to you, yes, it is an advantage to be bigger Big and, and stronger. stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but brother, as I said, for play with them also, mm -hmm. you have a lot of Jamaicans who go Vietnam and child. We don't make it, we don't want to call no money, but we hold it for where maybe even be more bigger than me locally come to Vietnam and can't make the team there. I'm not going to call them money, but enough man come with it. So as I say, Asia in itself, as I say, if you look on Japan now, every time Japan meet Jamaica, we'll get fixed up. Five love, nine love. Three love. All the 23, the other. All the 23, we'll see nine them get. And we can tell you, say, we sit down and watch the match. From the match start, the first three minutes, we know so we don't get enough. Mm. Because as I say, tactically, we don't understand football yet. Yeah, yeah we don't understand football from the level. Of playing as a team, as we say, it, 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 it just and as we say, we don't bash nobody, we just hope so one day we can realize it. As we say, yeah, yeah. so we don't want to even go, <laughs> that's another yeah. topic. But as we say, Asian players more technical and the ball game play upon the ground is more like the Spanish, them because they're not big and strong, but yeah, they're, they're very, they're but they're quick, they're quick, brother, and them touch is perfect. All right, so people, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Almost 300 of you guys in here. 250 so make sure you guys like in the video people it's very important to get get us to 250 likes people we have 250 people in the building hit the like button and if you're near around here don't forget to hit that subscribe button this yeah, is man, do that, do that. This reggae boys interview it's player come share their story so support the movements and by and hit that subscribe button i really really appreciate it but what happened with uh, um what happened um why you leave vietnam you know, so to be honest, it was a it was a financial situation with me and the club. And uh, yeah. sign a new, sign a, a new contract. And when the time comes for them to pay the new money, they never want to pay it. Yeah. And well, I think it was too much. You know, you know, so I kinda think that, but to some I guess so. when the contract did that end, some other club they want me. Mm -hmm. And me they want to leave. Not mm -hmm. someone want to leave, but when the still boss, if him care how much with them and give me, me I go leave. And from paper, they match it, but when the time comes for them to pay, it does cause a problem. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they want to give me the same money as before, and we just decide say, I'm going to get a lawyer and go legal. Yeah. So, yeah. that case went, I hear you talk about it on um, Jamaica, in TVJ, Wayne Walker. How that case finishing now, sir? Is that case finished now, or it's still? No, it, it finished. Oh, you win it? Yeah, man, win it. <laughs> 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 yeah. good to know about good to know about um so what next for you when you um that problem with the club and thing where the comeback yeah. to jamaica or, or yeah the comeback of jamaica 2018 uh if you be honest with you it cost me my career yeah that, that, yeah as we said i'm stubborn you know i'm stubborn bad 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 so as we said most player media other teammates with the boss do the same thing mm -hmm. and they accept it and that and my stubbornness cast me for because me have a legal case and I couldn't get my ITC if we move to another team. Mm. Come back Jamaica 2018 and from that we just stuck while the legal case are gone. So mm. while me I fight the legal case, me there and it was a rough, 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 even though as I say, all for blessings come out. Right? Because as I say, I come back home, me have to find something to live because when I left me to live with my mother. Mm -hmm. I come back home, I have to find a home for myself, with my family. You know, I have a wife, I have two kids. Yeah. So I come back home, I, 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 I buy a place for living. Uh, you know, so football was my only source of income at the time. So I never have no other. I want to have my savings. So I have to step up my game and find something else to do while the case is going. And luckily, I, 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 I jump in something like I buy an apartment, I put it on Airbnb. It start make food and my mind just start realize so yo me can't make money without a fair work so <laughs> that was something new to me at the time. Me have a book, me write a book name, uh, Life with the Stevens, Finding Financial Independence. Me have my autobiography, end up on Amazon, type in Errol Stevens. So them that kind of express the journey. But as I say, coming to Jamaica and now have an income, you know Jamaica expensive as hell. Yeah. And yeah, me do the apartment it work out and I think. That was the new. That, that, that was the new. The new. What we said. The new way of thinking. The new is that we kind of start drift from football because of the stress where it start giving me. Mm. I'm start going to real estate and investing and 
and even with the stock market, we start learning about the stock market and start invest. And you know, if I look at a blessing, as we say, everything come with it's good and it's bad. So while the football that go bad, God did a bless me. Other way. In the other areas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you deserve it, Bridget. You deserve it. If you are mash up the league, brother, you deserve it. And God probably has say, you know, me have a better. I'm not going to make him go out in any more cool early morning for, for go train and stuff. But I really want to ask you, you know, because mm. me live in a Canada you now. And yeah. I tell you, if you go out there, morning time, Bridget, it's rough. rough, rough. Go out nice snow and all of them stuff there. What's the, when you go over, when you go over season and stuff, especially your yeah, chain and stuff, what is it like chaining in a foreign country where it's cold to prepare for chaining? Do you, you know, guys so, chain inside or on the chain outside? Chain outside. You know, so I tell you the truth, the first, first tough experience I have in Russia. When I go to Russia, around 22, 21, 22, Mm-hmm. I'm going to a club where when we in the club, um teammate can tell me say the coach say no one a monkey in the team. Yeah? Yeah, that's how the coach say. So me I'm in an environment where none of my teammates them not talk to me, them not like black man. I mean have to perform in the team. As a 22 year old, we never go in them kind of environment there. So that was even the but as I said, football wise, yeah, me did it for a period of time and I fight through all of that. Uh, one day me I got the grocery store. I come out with some ghosts, some man punch out for me. Me have to run. <laughs> I run got the hotel. And that was another thing we kinda of lick the chip. That was the first time I come back home and kinda of, even though I mentioned it, we kinda of said we done with football to some extent. But the football wise and the cold bro. Uh it took me a while to adjust to that. But as I said, brother, me is a me's a tough, tough boy. And when I left Jamaica, I left Jamaica to say when I come back to my yard, I'm supposed to live nice. We're supposed to live nice. Yeah, more live good because we go out there and put in the work. Just like you see me on it, I put in the work. Hmm. When we do overseas, we put in the work, brother. Anyway, we're gonna put in the work. Yeah, man. So I'm more and better, is me? More and better. Yeah. So so in a Russia, in a in a Russia, Shaman Nicholas had just made the move go over there. And if him because he watch the channel a lot and watch especially the interview. What um advice would you give it to him? Or it's it's different now, or things kind of look a bit changed. You know, you know so at that mood, I say, but to some extent, I'm telling you, him would have, if you even look on during the time of big players ago, Eto go to Russia, them, them show banana for him, Roberto Carlos got the same, but them players, they're big name players, so they might have better people around them in terms of security and whatever. Me was just a little Jamaican ago, Russia. Shaman Nicholas, in the sense, go to Russia in a better state than me. Because the agent who carry me go to Russia, him just come out of you, come watch your train and bring me go to Russia. Mm-hmm. If, if, if you look on, well, the Akim priest mainly bring me, but he bring me to an agent where they are Serbian in Bemich. But after I'm signed, I'm not back for him. After I'm signed, me the Russian team, I'm not back for him, not at all. As yeah. In, yeah, man. For the man, I could sign the contract and get him money. Yeah. Up to this day, I'm never back for him. So yeah. Shaman is now going in a better environment because he's a national team. Remember, I said them telling them was a national team player. Yeah. That me even me even skip for. That was my story too deep, bro. When we there, I'm going to get we're gonna get three, man. I can have it right. Yeah, right. Man. yeah man. But if you tell you, I keep priest the boogie. You know if you know about that. Boogie, boogie, yeah, man. Boogie. Uh, priest, yeah, nah, nah. priest, priest, brother, them from Arborview. Yeah. Arborview. Yeah. Right. A boogie come out of Arborview, come see me, and come train when he come back from college. Same time when he used to go to France and it never work out and he never get a visa. Mm. And he come back to uh, Jamaica. He come out of Abbeville, come train with him. And I train in the man to me. And when I play in the match, you know, the time the Abbeville have me park up on the bench and Boogie said, Oh, you know how I play. And a Boogie tell him agent, say, Yo, I have a ball down here. You know? And a Boogie carry me with him. Mm. Go over Russia. You, go over Russia. Serbia, over for still. We go Serbia. I, I, I want to tell you, so we go Serbia, I play that one tournament. I scored nine goals and I say three match. Yeah. Score a rotted free kick from half line. Them times they no injury, so my right foot a kick like, 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 like good. Kick one from half line and score. I, I'm me and Boogie I get a contract for go Bosnia. Them times the agent, how much him tell you? The club manager tell you around three thousand euro. But them times me and Boogie now made even me. Me don't know if Boogie that means it. Cause maybe Boogie more open since he did the America. But me, you are come from Jamaica. When the agent say Bosnia, I say which country name so? Me don't know any name so. The man I tell you, say, Yo, you know, we sign the contract after six months, we're gonna get Bosnian citizenship and can play for Bosnia. But me don't know the country, the first me I hear the name in my life. <laughs> so, so the agent said to me, say, No, yo, 
make that weird little bit. If not, I'm going to, I can't go to Russia and make you do a child. No, if looking back now, we should have go Bosnia. Because at least we have a European citizenship and then. But then again, you still don't know life for a turn out, so you can't say X, Y, or Z, isn't it? Yeah. Bridging, one of my favorite fans, you talk about the book by Amazon and she just sent me a picture where she just buy the buy the um buy the book. So it's a teacher from America, so she probably read it to Shem, Shem Jackson. Big up yourself. Thank you very much for buy the book. Um people, if you're interested in it. Shem. You, so you can go and buy the book. So um tell him where they can find the book that they can go as we they ask people. Yeah, man, the book, you can find it on Amazon. If you type in Errol Stevens, you have two books. You have one called uh, Life with the Stevens, Finding Financial Independence. You have a YouTube channel where we show, share family videos. We talk about real estate investing in Jamaica. We talk about stock investing in Jamaica. As you know, it's kind of now like an entrepreneur. Yeah. Kind of retired, live off for me, investment them, try to stay out of the nine to five, try make money work for me instead of me at work. Etc. Etc. So yeah, I have my autobiography. I talk about my life. Like when I tell my story, I so I tell my story in the book. Mm. Yeah, Most definitely, Bridging. I inspire a lot for me, Bridging. Trust me, watching the things. So shame, big up yourself, um. So one more mm -hmm. friends, um. Thank you very much for the the donation. I really, really appreciate it. So this is one more year, fans. I'm telling they are big fan of you. And yeah, man, big, big them up, man. Big up all of them. So, Bridging, thank you very much for the um the donation and stuff, people. Remember, the super chat button is working. So, if you want to support, make sure you show work us. Work it, work it, work it. All right, people. I know Stevens, um, Errol have a lot of fans across the world. Change and hard people, you know. Um, I think that's a record for me on an interview. But now, man, when it upload, it yeah. gets more. But yeah. see so many people come out change it out. So people may also change it out likes and the video people. Come on, show the video some love and thing. But here yeah, you're talking about um the, the agent sign you, getting money and gone. Well, I tell you. Yeah, now, yeah, you're going through something in a Russia and it means not there to help you. Not there. Nobody for call, nobody for help. So but what is it, what is like though when you leave training and stuff? Where you stay at a hotel at a um a hotel for the the, the yeah the, 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 yeah the club of a of a hotel mm -hmm. where, where it depends on the same premises as the match stadium, yeah. but where we train are like 15, 20 minutes away. And as I said, because I him sign me and just disappear, me used to have to find myself a training. Or a teammate carry me. We have a one teammate. Good, 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 good friend up to this day. His name Boris Rottenberg. Him, him father was actually the guy where pay everybody's salary. Won a bank. <laughs> Rich boy. Yeah, man. He used to carry me to training sometime if he come at the hotel before. Yeah. yeah. So he was like half Jewish, half Russian. So him kind of get a little bash too. Yeah. Because yeah, him because his father was so called on the team while him in the team. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. okay. So so um you say people Russia and Russia. Oh yeah, my yeah, God, bro. I don't think I could manage that Beijing. Especially sometimes you can even when me then at the bus yeah, so people the white people just uh, look by a certain way and you can imagine what they are thinking of the mid Beijing. Yeah man, it's a rough it's a, it was a rough rough as I say as a twenty two year old, like me used to travel to the States then growing up, but we never have that experience of, like of a Russia. You get me? And, and it's not just a single experience. It was a common thing because, like me say, when I go back at the hotel and me go up on YouTube and type in racism in Russia, I see a whole of situation when they rush the African student, they, they rush the Asian people, them. just anybody where they look like them. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, when you're playing, when you're playing uh, in, in, in Russia, um, when you're playing in Russia, which division were you playing? Premier League. Premier League, that's the highest in Russia? Yeah, man. Me are the first. Simon with that tell you, because Simon is the stats man. Simon tell me the last time, so I'm the first Jamaican player to start in the Russian Premier League. First game was against CSK Moscow. Same CSK Moscow you see in the Champions League. And yeah. the second game was against Which Zenit. Which team did they was playing for in Russia? FC Inky. FC Inky. They mean in the Russian League now? In yeah, league? in the Russian League now too. Yeah? Yeah, they mean in the league now. Yeah, so who yeah. shared this? Who shared this? 2009. 2009? Wow. Oh. Because I remember Scarlett got to Russia and signed for the same team that Shamar signed for, but yeah, he man. play any game. Yeah, man. Scarlett got before me. 
But as I said, me the first player for start again. Yeah, but what is like the league though, the standard? You know, the standard high, bro. The standard high, I'm not going to lie to you. As I tell you, I was a 20, and, 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 and to be honest with you, when I left, as I said, I never played a full Premier League season in Jamaica yet. Yeah. When I played in Russia. I was an under-21 player. I would get a little one and two knock here and there. So going to Russia was a big, 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 big step. You see me? Yeah, man. So I have to learn a lot. All the coach support, though. All the coach support and stuff. No, I never have no support. Monkey chant when they touch the ball. People spit off for you sometimes. Your home, your home, your home, home, home fans. Home fans. Home fans. Home fans. Like I tell you, Reggie. Yeah, brother. Real your, life. Your, re, your fans, them, the, the, your fans, them. My eh? fans, them spit off for me. My fans, when they touch the ball, make monkey some. As in, yeah. Niga Russia. Oh, yeah, play well. But yeah, play well. So what? what? I Russia that, brother. As I say, if you see, as I say, remember, all right, my agent was sign me, him they have an African guy to be the translator. Yeah. He was not an agent, but him use him. He did a go college in Russia, as most foreign students go. Mm -hmm. I remember after the incident where the guy didn't rush me in the supermarket. Market. Yeah. And we decided to say, oh, my God, my God, come, come here for this. So when we left Russia, I left two months to in Russia. Yeah. As in, when I left, my contract still valid. I'm, 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 I'm leave. And I the youth, then I give the money. Because I never even know to buy a ticket. I never even know to go online and buy a ticket. As I said, when I give the youth money, if you do want to run off, you could run off with the ticket money. After this day, I said to myself, say, yo, oh, you never do that. Mm -hmm. You see me? So when him drive, come link me, and I give him the money. As a 22-year-old, I could even hold back the tears them in my eyes. I start balling like, yeah. I give the money money. So, yeah, it, as we say, it's not a contract hop. Make you leave Russia. It's just because... No. At the environment, brother. As I say, I could You could deal with it. You could rough it up like No, brother. As I say, remember one time in the hotel and the girl in there at the reception. Uh, as I say, a few people could have speak English. We have a goalkeeper from Serbia who could have speak English. Mm -hmm. anyway, Boris, I'm going to tell you, say, a film for the PS salary, kind of upstairs in the mm -hmm. club. One day, we were at the reception and we had come out. The man said to me, say, oh, you know, the girl just asked why we don't have power with him if we're not afraid to catch AIDS. So as I say, I think it was more a lack racism plus lack of education not, and knowledge and everything with that. So when them things they used to just meet with me meet. But to be honest, I the same girl them after a couple of months I did it, I'll invite me to come at the reception to eat. Even though I never got eat come, I just them like that. But as I say, there was a whole part thing, brother. So me give the you the money, you buy the ticket, you give me the ticket. And remember in the car when the man said start ball, the man said, Yo, if you think say Russia bad, imagine. If you'd go to Italy. Hmm. Say, I don't want to see Italy. That come out of the, that the man said to me. But when you leave Russia and come back to Jamaica, your money, you just send back your money home. Yeah. You just send it back home. You just send it back home. But I don't want to tell you what I'm doing to send it back home. Because hmm. as I said, if, 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 if I be totally honest with you, this 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 you know this is not going to be too deep, brother. As I say, if 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 people say, you remember when only bigger time said that England like only bigger time said brother am I brother? Yeah, only a man take away 16 million Jamaican dollar back them time than a whole heap of money when bigger play at England and the man you just bank the money for bigger. Yeah. Them time the technology, I don't know if you could have um no back in them days the material we were going. When me used to send back money from Russia, yeah. if a Western Union it. Yeah. And somebody forgot to pick it up for me at Western Union yeah. and then go bank it for me. And that's why I said to you, say, sometimes people wonder why I'm not on a family road me. Or yeah. why if you watch if you watch the family channel and you know see me show certain people. Yeah. As I said, me have to learn the hard way about family. You see me? Cause as I look at you, I send my money come and when I come back a yard, no. bank account empty. Really? Yeah, man, bank account <laughs> empty. <laughs> Brother, okay. and that's why right. me, I tell you this, brother, me learn from O'Neill Bigger Thomas when the man them take away a whole heap of money. One man take away 16 million dollars from man send the money from Sorry about that. Danny, yeah. go, Danny Leo, please go in the room. Danny Leo, go in the room. People like the video. Come on. Um, Devon, fresh God, all of you guys, make sure you guys smash the like button, people. Sorry, bro. We're going, we're going to a different room. Sorry about this, bro. Yeah, man. Don't send out the people. Make sure you like the video, people. Like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'm watching now and almost um, 163 of you guys not subscribing. I'm seeing it on the analytics. So come on, people. You have to hit the subscribe button and stuff. Boy, boy, I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, brother. It's rough. It's rough. I'm going to tell you it's rough, brother. In real life. <laughs>
Brother, me tell nobody say yo, nobody. Me not trust with my money when me. Me send that. Me send that. Me not trust nobody. Me not trust my mother. Me not trust nobody. Yeah, but guess what? You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice because I guess what? No, me can't. I'm in a situation. No, no. Me not trust nobody. Yeah, because, yeah, 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 yeah. Learn from, learn from me. So yeah, where you say no? Um, t- so you come back and when you come back from Russia and thing as a player. You suppose yeah expect big thing yeah come home now because you feel nice area nice, nice yeah. come back home. get a little food yeah man come over no food <laughs> <laughs> boy bridging it's good for you say yo things happen in your life bridging and you can talk about it yo you have some people that go mad you know you have some people that go crazy you know bridging and for no say so you build back from that and somebody some people would have just done it football brother yeah but me can tell you say brother as we say imagine all of that we are we are we are far along from me at one time and guess what is the interesting about it you know so i come back home from russia i come back home as a better man yeah you know why i come back home and i preach you know for my bridge name ronnie i say yo dog when you load a lifestyle you see the gun gun lifestyle and the and the and the, and the badness lifestyle. I don't like one another lifestyle. I don't want to see one that live good. Mm-hmm. I will be preaching. Cause when I come back home and I tell them when we go to Russia, brother, it hurt my aunt to come home, come see oh we are kill off one another. And nobody no love with that. Mm-hmm. You see me? As a big man, just a whole big man with video. Mm-hmm. You there in a people country to brother. They no treat you nice in them country, you see me? And yet still you come home in your country, you still have your duck and dodge from your owner, brother. Is me so it's, right. so it's like they can't ever win. They can't ever win. Sometimes it feel like they can't win. Is me? Most definitely. So all right. So you went to you you leave Russia and thing things that mean a Russia and stuff. Your wife is a Russian. Mm-hmm. Oh, you meet your wife, brother. Oh, you, oh, you really meet your wife in a Russia. You meet no. her. Me wife from there, Thailand. Yeah, man. <laughs> so you meet her. <laughs> So you meet your wife. So oh, you meet your wife at Thailand. Yeah, you, you go up on the mall or what? Where you meet her in a Thailand? Which part in a Thailand you meet her? No, my wife did in Russia. But guess what? When we did in Russia, we did up on a Russian like same boys. So we used to talk to me and we used to talk on a, a platform we call VK.com. It's a Russian platform. So yeah. I so we used to keep in contact with him because I real youth. As I say, I do everything without him and even my Serbian team maybe that survive by Russia to some extent. Because I say we never have no help. Really and truly, so them give me a strength. So me and them is to communicate on that. And when I'm on the Panda platform, you know, me to see my wife profile come up where when I friend them, which are boys friend, I tell her happy birthday. Mm-hmm. So when we click on the profile now, me see say she like Jamaican culture and the whole dancing, which which really surprised me. So me and I used to talk a lot on contact day. I think me see, most of me think she used to talk with me for practice our English and. We used to just chat, chat, chat. But I was going to say, while chatting to her, I realized that she, I got through fear when I struggle. Them telling me, I got through a whole struggle. Because I was going to say, them telling them I got to Thailand. I play for 1,500 US dollar. When I got to Thailand, I went to injure myself in a Jamaica team 2012. I had to do a knee surgery. I was sit out one year. And I first time I got broke in my life, as in, have money and got broke. Because I remember my test, I got left, I got Vietnam 2011. I make a look of food. I'm gonna come back and feel like some rich. You, you know, you know when the cartel say more than a million dollars by a man in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, me have look over, me have some little Jamaican money and feel like say a real money. And just I live, live like a clown, party, dash for money. Wait, wait, wait. Same time with the Jamaica team 2012. I mash up my knee with, with the lifestyle. Yeah, man, I'm out for a year. I'm gonna go to Thailand, I'm go to Thailand for my face. Left Jamaica with 50 dollars. 50 US or 50, 50 US dollar. Maybe I'm in Jamaica. I'm going to Thailand and Dikai Williams come to Thailand. Me reach first, the agent bring Dikai after, and then Dada come after that. I came out daily. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, and she already in Thailand, and the man have, we are driving all over the place. Four hours go. When me and Dikai reach, we for try out for the team, the coach them, so they don't know we. We can't train. <laughs> and we have to drive, go back with like a taxi, man. I mean, end up trying out for a little team, a Division 1 team. And then end up like me. I scored a couple goals on my friend in the match, and the man end up like me and, and, and sign me. I make the guy tell you the building where me and him go in. Where the man them send me asleep. 
Yeah. Our mat in there. That's all I've been doing. Really? Really, one mat. I may tell you, say, even in 10 minutes, start get paid. But buy one like Asian mat, one like a long Asian mat, and I don't sleep on the six months, the time I did it. 1500 US dollars alone, me I earn. And the only thing I have to do is pay my rent, but I have to pay a light. A division one, you know, so not even the Premier League in Thailand, the same time. Mm-hmm. A division one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And, and, and Dika, I caught, because Dika, I said, can I remember, you know, them time they, the man, them were play. Dika, I come from MLS, Toronto. Mm-hmm. Dada, I come from England. Man, them Thailand, the Europe, brother, we all look a fool fool something. We we'll got you with that agent there. Mm. You see me? You name, you name Gibby. So if no Jamaican ball, I say a agent named Gibby link them. Do not go know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. yeah, So, man. so what happened? Because at the time, in Navian, um, Imbo Navian boy, Dada was in a peak time career. Mm. Cause guy was playing for Toronto FC. What them leave you at Thailand? Yeah. As guess what? It, when we when when we reach, I think I was like 15 days to the transfer window of luck. Mm-hmm. And it ended up that when everyone me and Dika go, them the only one to strike her. Mm-hmm. You see me? So it ended up that he never had a workout for Dika based on the position we play. Mm-hmm. And to me, being honest, I think Dada never like how oh, the agent to operate. I remember I said Dada come from England them time there. Mm-hmm. So the environment we would drop in a bit like it was mucky. You see me? So, but at the end of the day, in my head, I say, yo, I'm not going to go back to me. I'm not going to go back to me. Yeah. So, I just tell myself, say, yo, I take this. So, when the man, if the man did tell me a thousand dollars, I sign. The man did tell me five bills, I sign. Because at the end of the day, I just say, yo, I'm going to just use this as a little stepping stone to go somewhere else. You see me? Yeah. So, what happened? You sign? I sign, yeah, man. I sign. And, well, that season, I played 13 matches and scored six goals. Mm-hmm. It was half season when I signed, it wasn't the start of the season. So it was 13 matches of the season I done. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a score six goals and 13 matches, and the club give me a next, give me a two year contract. Mm-hmm. Two grand this time. And and, and, and during the first six months, they made my wife. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, when time I sent Fiara from Russia, only, only thing, only thing I buy different was I buy a mattress and I buy a little fridge. We never even have a kitchen with me and Ali. And you were getting two thousand US dollar. US dollar, yeah, man. So you send for your wife. So mm. how you manage? How you manage? Balance oh. paying rent and stuff with the no. wife. Asia cheap, brother. And as me say, me no pay rent. Only me have to pay a light and water. And that me love about Asia. You see me in, in general. You see Thailand and Vietnam. Everything in them country they cheap. Yeah. To be honest with you, if I could speak fully Vietnamese, money to come back to Jamaica. Different from me, my club are far out. And I come here, my resident cared for, for Vietnam. I live in Vietnam five years, but I don't think we could have quote unquote lived there so long, but I love the country in terms of the peacefulness and all things cheap and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you, 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 you send for your wife mm-hmm. and you're not even buy a car, why you buy a bike? You couldn't, couldn't drive a uh, car in the country. Then. The person, I don't know why, but. When you contact the club, you can't get no care because of some paper you don't have. Or it was difficult for foreigners, even though they have Vietnam. If you look at my vlog from Life with the Stevens from a YouTube channel, you see me and my wife I ride bike with the kids them on the bike. Mm. We have one of them in front of me, she have one in my back behind me. Me I ride with one and I saw my ride go training, and I saw my ride go supermarket. We did that for five years. Five years? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Five years. So we are ride bike. So what? Uh, we never catch in one day. Or... Mm-hmm. You know, regular, regular. But I, I just here's a lifestyle different, brother. Cause you have some look like raincoat, you rip on the bike, you cover everybody. Mm. And yeah, man, we rip on bike, we rainfall, wet, we dry away. Sometimes we go out and we never plan for rainfall. So uh, sometimes we don't really like the jacket, cause the rain jacket you have to we'll keep it under the bike. But mm. brother, we just get so climatized to the country, to the culture. As mm-hmm. you remember, when we used to just go to Vietnam. We used to laugh off of the people, them, or them chuff with the whole for people on the bike. Mm-hmm. Till we end up there, they are our youth, them band, they, and we have to ride with it on the bike too. And you know? Yeah. yeah so you two youth, them band in Vietnam? You know, two youth, them band in Vietnam. Wow. So you have a special, special love for that place, because like, you two youth, them band in Vietnam, brother. Yeah, man, yeah, man. It's a home away from home, that man. I'm an ex, I'm an ex Jamaican. So when. You take your wife to Vietnam, brother, and she come and she say, 
you know, live a love with lifestyle, you know, um, a whole heap of thing in the day. How's your feel and, and, and where you sense from that? I don't say with the, with the Thailand first. We go yeah. Vietnam after. I don't say she come up to me at Thailand. Yeah. And I don't say, me used to always, when I was Thailand, I said to me, when she come, I said to myself, I say, yo, remember something with twins that twins used to say, yo, if you want to if a girl too, you have to drive your car for an empty and make it work long and see if she can help you push it and everything there. Yeah. At the first, and guess what, she made me that, you know, it wasn't me, just I made that after the bat, you know. Because I said, just then with her at Thailand, my club will meet a place for enough. Most of my teammates them drive. I remember one day we in a fall like hell. And I said to the girls, yo, go with them in a car. Because most of us used to rent. Mm. When we went to really get she, we moved to in the city. So most of us used to rent in the city for my second year. And she ended up coming now. I said, yo, she now go with them. She goes to stay on the bike. And me and I ride on the bike to whole for rain. You see me? And as I say, if my wife ever won a YouTube channel, if you see where she left for Russia, and I like she left property. Mm. Isn't it? She'd all right. She, she maybe live with her mother alone, but she'd all right. Mm -hmm. And if she come see where me have them time, them not nothing. And she still stick around. Yeah, man. That's why to this day, I'm a boss. Mm. Yeah, man. Jan, but, yeah, man. Jan, oh, brother. It take a real woman who knows she'll travel from somewhere and there when she come. Because yeah, people think professional football. Like, yeah, rich and real. Rich and thing. And she know you were playing football. Yeah, she know that. She know that, but as I say, because me and I talk so long, yeah. But I mean, just think say I just the honesty between two of you because she be fully open with who she is, and me be fully open with who me is. Because even with the Thailand, when she come, if you be honest with you, she ne we, we never tell her to come come live. Mm -hmm. Me tell her say, she could have come for two weeks and go back home, and as she say she wants to stay. I say to her say my girl, they cannot stay because if nothing happen, me get injured, I me have to go back to Jamaica. You can't go back to where me I go back to. Because them times you have to understand that I don't own no house, I don't have nothing. I don't even eat no good food at all. It. So if you come back and live like a regular, regular, yardy like how I eat a chaddy. Uh -huh. And the girl said to me, yo, she will not work at Burger King. I just laugh, me laugh. Boy, Burger King way in a Jamaica? <laughs> Say Jamaica, yeah? <laughs> ah, yeah, I tell you, bro. Hey, bro, I wear the cover time mode. As we say, up to this day, sometimes I laugh, I will laugh. I will sit down, I will laugh. You see me? Yeah, man. Says so she willing for work a burger. Work a burger king. Burger. We don't know why she choose burger king, but I hate for it. <laughs> Bridget, you see when a woman love a man, brother, they tell her brother they will do anything. A real me, I tell her that Bridget, right no, now. No, I'm not lying. Sometimes I feel like a time with her. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, man. Me know that brother. Me know that girl love me to to the groom. I want to say. Every day I tell people, say, we don't know how she wake. My wife wake up every day like it's a new day. She see me. Yeah. From the day we meet this girl, a uh, one personality she have. Yeah. One, one happy like bird. Sometimes I say, my wife was always happy when she rode me. She know what? My, uh, my wife is a girl and she know I'm going to win. If we don't be like 24 7 for the day, she all right. If we sit down and we just chat for the day, if we just watch a movie for the day, you know matter what we are doing, she have me side, she just all right. And that was my observation from the day we meet. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah, man. So, so one of your comments today was super chat. Really appreciate the donation that thing. Um, yeah, man. I see, I see, I see, see, see somebody mentioned it there. Our mother never knew, say, even that, coming out to the truth, my wife never tell me that. So, more people know that. She never tell me, so she never tell her mother, so she left, you know, me thinks her mother knew, you know. So, when she come to me, me thinks her mother knows, so she left, but she come from playing by herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm gonna never know. After I'm gonna know. So, wait, wait, can you must talk to the family? So, what I'm gonna say and stuff? As I said, no, most of the talking now come through my wife because my wife alone can speak English. Oh, oh. yeah, I'm gonna can't speak English. But I'm gonna love me. I'm gonna miss it me every birthday, every this, every that. Even when then I'm gonna come stay with you in Vietnam one time. When things did get better, because I'm saying, I'm saying, Vietnam, everything step up. Tears step up, a like, complete different lifestyle, isn't it? Yeah. In terms of everything, financially and everything. So, when I'm, I could, have, could have buy a ticket, my mother come a, a, a Vietnam, come stay with me, and my mother come and we sit down and we talk and I just be a love. Mostly me think because my mother may be surprised at how oh, you cheat her. Oh, cheat her. Oh, she, she happy. Yeah. You see me? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. We could have, as I said to this day, we see how oh, the mother happy. Because you know, sometimes you don't know the man with your daughter, they're going to fall. True. You see me? So, 
Yeah, while me bless with Avar, she bless with me too. So, me just look on it now with it. Bridging, me look on her Instagram. Me did, me, me did, me did thing say, are you make sure dance, dance all? Yeah. And, but your bad brother, Mr. Shaw, teach you for dance. I mean, I say, come on, Naldo, Bridget. <laughs> no, bro, me not dance. I mean, I don't know, bro. Me, me, me don't know my left foot from my right foot. Me can't dance. That does give me. You see my wife, bro? Yeah. Uh, my wife of our YouTube channel before the one with most Jamaicans know about now. Yeah. As in, and it's not a YouTube channel. She used to just post video when she had dance, dance. Uh, you see, if yeah. anybody ever find that channel, they yeah. don't go surprised. Because up often now, I don't think nobody knows about it because she writes her name in Russian. So if you type in English, you're not fine. Yeah. But she bad brother, she bad, 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 bad. And this is something where, as I say, that the drama me to her because when we see how oh, she loves the culture, I yeah. say, yo, this a girl I like, really, really I'm surprised. I'm saying you just get me shot because knowing Russia or me, the have Russia in my meds. Yeah. And if you see how oh, she love the country and love everything, yeah, man. Bro, come and see she, me and she, she do some movement. I mean, I say, no, man. Uh, she, she most can teach all people for dance, brother. Brother, me, me but, say, my wife, my sister, can I tell you, say, maybe my sister have to learn from my wife. And this is not the way we chew up on her. She just love, from the day one, she just love the culture, she love Jamaica, she love everything. As I said, the first time my wife come to Jamaica, so to some extent that she look at Jamaica different. Because I remember the first time she come to Holland from the plane, she said, wow, look at the mountain. <laughs> me say, yo, <laughs> at the mountain. And then let me look at me and say, yo, it's like, we don't appreciate the Jamaica. same thing, yeah. it's grow. And see it, right. it's come like if we got New Year, no, it's a tall building, they may be like, wow, yeah. your first time in Jamaica, well, I see that when I really, you know, find that that was, that is Jamaica for she, isn't it? When she see Jamaica, she loved, brother, she loved Jamaica more than me, eh? tell me, I tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. So she, 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 she loved Jamaica, so base, she want to live here, she not go back home. No, man, she not go back home. And as I say, even with the language now, as I say, to be honest, when you meet my wife, I think, I can honestly tell you, I think her English was in 30%. Yeah. In terms of, she was better typing, she could always type English, but she couldn't speak it. And she couldn't pick it up fluently, she couldn't pick it up easily. So I guess of my bad patwa, as in my good patwa, I'm yeah. a bad English. I can only talk patwa, I don't mean, I mean, I mean, talk standard English. When I, so then she start talk patwa more. You see me? So no, if you listen to her, she sound like, I was going to say, if you come talk to my wife right now, and no matter how bad you chat your partner, she understand it, because I just threw me chat bad, and I saw me talk to her. Because I was going to say, me never realized say, as so much partner she talk until we start recording with Vietnam and the YouTube, and people fall in love with the channel and love her accent, and really, me realize, yo, so you really chat all about partner, you know? But because me used to her from the beginning, me never realized there's so much partner she had chat. Okay. Yeah. Pick up yourself, sugar. Watch our YouTube channel, Beijing. People, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go over to the um to sugar and subscribe to our channel. And swaggy, 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 swaggy on the island. Yeah, man. It's swaggy yeah. on the island. So, people, when you hear it, make sure you go over there and subscribe, people, and uh, and stuff. But we want to get back to the football stuff. Football. <laughs> hear me? One question more, ask you. Ah, enough time. Me, me married my me me um married my wife and thing. Um our friend them always ask. Um your friend, your husband can get a good husband for me like you and stuff. Yeah, she ever a uh, friend and our friend them ever ask you if you get a good husband for your friend. Eh? No, no, man, I don't know what I honestly, I don't know much. If I didn't know do I she as she I didn't mean ask she to get her. Yeah. She don't have all of her friends who speak English. So that had the, had the oh, issue. Yeah, man. So, uh, I mean, we talk to a few, but I don't find a level there, you know? All right. Most definitely. So, let's move on. Let's move on now. So, you play in Russia. You're the first Jamaican to start in a Russia. Yeah, you, you go and play in a Thailand and stuff. Where you play again in the world? After Thailand, as I said, we got Vietnam back. Because remember, we did go to Vietnam in 2011. 2013 we go to Thailand mm -hmm. and then 2014 we end up go sign back in a Vietnam in a the Premier League in mm -hmm. a Vietnam. All right. So coming back to Jamaica now. Coming back to Jamaica. When 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 you know say yo because she a part of your story in a football story in a car. Me think when you leave Vietnam or you leave Vietnam either go. You know like some people that retire, they might play a local MLS or they might play a local um 
look at thing. As you say, um, just because the, the, the court case and stuff, they could get to play back professional football or you want to play it and mm -hmm. If you want to go back, it's it probably too late because you get in that age and stuff. Yeah, age and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, leaving and come to Jamaica now, when you know, say, yo, Sugar going to be uh, your, your wife and thing, and she want to spend the rest of your life with. You know, so I'm so married from 2015, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man, the first, the first, uh, when you we, when we sign a Vietnam, as I say, when you sign a Vietnam, we life change in terms of financially. We left Thailand because it was, we were playing a Thai league and a Vietnamese boss and come a scout for a striker. And he come watch me play and he like me and he meet me after the game. And he make me offer when I can't refuse. And we have one more year on the contract. And I tell the boss of the club, say, yo, I'm off the left. Because I tell him, say, that $2,000, you can't, can't help me. In terms of that family, I say, you see me have a girlfriend and etc. etc. And him, to be all honest, he never have to let me go, but you understand. And he make me leave God Vietnam. So you get it, you, you go to free, no money? Yeah, free. No, no. I have to give him, but I give him one month salary. He must have one month salary. Because he never know what I signed for Vietnam. So he must have one month salary. But my last salary, I never take it. And the club keep it. And then we go to Vietnam. Okay. Fair enough. So you say you're married from 2015. Yeah, we so, married February 20th, 2015. So when you come to Jamaica, you just do a bigger thing where you invite family. Some beautiful picture, bro. No, if you be honest with you, you just signed the contract with the Vietnamese club. You just start the season. We start the first season of Vietnam, we score five goals in a five match. And we get to what call lunar break. Like we say, Asian people, New Year. Yeah. We start, I think, of February. I don't know if you remember for February, somewhere in February, I go and know in a year. Mm -hmm. So I do in a period of time, I ask my boss, say, time off, I'm going to come to Jamaica, we get married. And uh, to be honest, we, me that always, no one says stingy, but my pocket never deep. We just sign and we never know all the season are going to go good or bad. So we never want to do nothing bigger, we never have the time. So we just meet up a cousin over here called Secret Resort. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask her line up a thing for me. And we just get married. So that's me, my wife, and my sister and my cousin. Okay, okay. Yeah. And since my family couldn't do them, we just feel like it only fear if we don't bother fully to put a bag of family. Plus, she wouldn't know them either, so we just want to keep it small and, yeah. you know? Yeah, I mean, um, great, great. So, all right, come back to Jamaica now and thing. As I said, I think you'll go playing at the MLS or the USL to finish uh, your career. We will come back. Why take you long to get back in a football in a Jamaica? Uh, me and because the FIFA case. Like, because me, me are the one who terminate the contract. But uh -huh. we terminate the contract under the clause where the club never want to pay. But I'm supposed to pay. So because I got my ITC, this the stuck in a Vietnam. We try to get it. We go to Malaysia. The club won't sign me. So we request the ITC, Vietnam Federation, wouldn't send it. Mm -hmm. Fly from Jamaica go Malaysia for sign. Club one time we do the child couldn't sign. That was that was after twenty, I think twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get the ITC. Another stress in my life. Come back home, and the FIFA case still ago. I never get the release till like mostly July twenty nineteen. But FIFA said I win the case and them telling them free my ITC. But to be honest with you, we go Vietnam play one match again, get injured. Covid come, and as I say, with everything in terms of like me, I do my investment, them and everything I work out, and Covid and everything, we just feel like it's a time for me to start preparing for life after football. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, fair enough. So, talk to me about the Jamaica national team. Yeah, play couple game well for the Jamaica national team. How it feel to represent your country, and do you believe you deserve? You deserve to get more cap because playing for any game and play, especially in Russia and Asia and all of these stuff. And you know, we don't have really much Jamaican people who watch the, the Russian league and all of them stuff than the Asia. Do you think you deserve more cap for the national team, the senior national team? To be honest, uh, just based off a performance, yes, for sure. But even me, we just know so being in, 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 in Vietnam, it just wouldn't it just wouldn't happen. You get me? If you be realistic, if not, nobody now watch the league. And in the first case, they consider it. I don't even think they look upon the league as have, have any respect. You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. And you can have so much English based be English based players and American players. They all get the first preference. So yeah man. Yeah, so one of your cousin, man. Remember me sending you the picture? I sent you a screenshot today, you the first person to log on and the thing. Oh, who was my cousin that really was Janik? Yeah, so yeah, Janik was my cousin. All right, so yeah, people don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Come on, people. Let's get the video to 200 likes. But anyway, um, you um we don't talk about the, the national program and thing and thing. So you say when you were playing in Thailand, you wouldn't expect to get a lot of call. But you know, you've been playing and you know you, you have been perform. They can't even look at stats because sometimes they look at stats and them thing there. In 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 the, um some case the coach and stuff. So who gave your debut as a coach, a Jamaica coach? Oh, Shepa? No, Mantis and Tapa. Mantis and Tapa. So we yes. we learn from both coach. Oh, in terms of uh, um, Shepa, yeah, yeah. Bro, if you be honest, if you be totally honest with you, uh, in terms of the national team, there isn't much you can learn because, as we say, you did. You're, you're only there with the national team maybe for three or four days. Mm-hmm. So even when Schaefer coached me the game, to be honest with you, um, we do a video on it and we say we're really soon. But as I said, we do some local video I talk about the national team. Yeah. There isn't much those coaches can do when they just come to them for three or four days. Mm-hmm. And even with Schaefer, when we experience, he's like, you already expect you to be a professional football player. Once you come of, the in, yeah, once you come to the national team, in terms of it's like if she had a coach Spain, you would have expect the Spanish player then to be great. You know, to play football. Yeah. We know the basics of football. If you go coach Germany, you might expect the German player them to know how to play football. As we say, it's a complete different story with when it comes to oh Jamaica run and oh Jamaica develop players. Mm. As I tell you, in our structure of football in Jamaica, we expect to forget the best player them from Pepsi, Manning Cup and Coles. Them think they're seasonal thing. Mm-hmm. Players train over the summer, play a couple of weeks of football, and we crown the players them the best players in Jamaica. When them, when in, a re, in a reality, those players just are play against mediocre teams. Example, when I go greater home, and you would have a player who I go JC, who I play with the whole of the stars them, and him give it 16, and him score eight goals, and him say I'm the best player. And then now that player, they mentally start develop because they're already crawling king, so they start developing himself. Sorry about this, bro. I got two, but that is, that, no, no, go to mommy, please. Oh, go, mommy, so come. No, you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, sorry about that, but as as say, it. Yeah, man, it really, it, brother, there's a whole lot of things. And as we say, you with your channel inspire me to talk about these things. Yeah. As I said, yeah, bro. Shafer come for expect in a Shafer head, you might expect so we understand certain things about football, tactically, off a move, off a play. And we can uh, and we can share like a thing with you. When we got to Thailand for the first time, mm-hmm. we used to play some position game. I mean, in a one half. Coach used to say two touches. Sometimes you say you play to the third man, that means you can't play back to the same man to get the ball. We used to play that in you know? a and when one team have the ball. Literally, I tell you, say, three, four minutes, you can't get by the ball. My team just can't get it back. No matter how you press, the players are so, so, have such a good technique. You get what I mean? And even when I was there, me was the weak link. The players used to always know, say, so feel like say, me, I'm going to lose the ball. Mm. Because me never used to for play the ball at that fast pace. At that. So if, if you realize now, even with the national team, as I said, we can't play out from the back with one or two touches. Place them if you look if you're a baller, you can know when a ball comfortable upon a ball. We don't look comfortable upon the ball, we don't look like we know how to play out from the back. The first time I got to Thailand, my coach used to have me 45 minutes every day. I never come training early, come to blackboard work because mm-hmm. he might teach me how to move upon the field. As I said, me as a man, as I tell him, I love players at number 10, so I used to always want the ball. Mm-hmm. So every time the midfielder them of the ball, I defend them of the ball, I try to show up in the same midfield. With the same midfielder, them just to get the ball. And then the man, if I put them on the blackboard, I say, Listen to me, your job, I feel only two center back them up here, so I don't want you know any of this. Up. In the build up phase, you see, during the build up phase, I feel only two center back them as far as possible from the midfield, therefore, the midfield have more space. Yes, they're yes. the midfielder. 
yes, we're only midfielder, we're attacking midfielder, even the same number 10, because I'm telling you, you just love players are number 10. Mm -hmm. As soon as my team have the ball, if my wing back have the ball, I want to show up to get it from my wing back. I want to show up to get it from central. Mm -hmm. But while me, I do that, all me, I do, I bring the whole back line, come up the field. We mm -hmm. can show you an example if you look on Luis Suarez. Suarez, I want the striker that we play outside the most. He just the behind the back line where they can't even see him. And as soon as the ball reaches the midfield, he comes inside and try and make a run. Why? All the midfielders them know that him do. Him at the same time, I create more space. He always want it over the top. Yes, and 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 all the midfielders them know that him do. We not we not have the understanding that even on a local level where if we build players locally from small, we not think we have developed the players them technically enough for where when we bring in the English based player them. We have something to work with. Right now, we have locally we have a whole of talent. As I say, he's a good talent. Mm -hmm. But we can honestly tell you so when we go to Europe, when we go to Asia, we never technical, we never as good as the player. Because them players they are train three, four times a day. They're in an environment where they are train as, as as young as them be. All of my academy, them, whether in a Thailand, in a Russia, the people they from them are four, so they are eight to them learn teamwork, them learn mm -hmm. everything, basics, till when they reach eight, them start work on them technically and tactically. So you can imagine we are Jamaica where I just, if we play under 15, under 15 last three months. If we play, me I talk about how me grew up. When we grew up and I play under 15, it only play in the summer. You yeah, play Pepsi, it lasts from September to December. And as we say, the players, the, the coaches them right across the board, they only care about win. They only want to win. That's the mentality in Jamaica. GSE, KSE, them have the old boy, them, them pump some money in the school. And they want the bragging right to send me the biggest school. They don't care how the player they develop. Then there's no development. They just go scout the best player them in Jamaica, put them in one school, beat up little small school them like Greater Portmore, and one little Waterford, or one little, any little school them can find them beat up and them say the player the best. But how much players we have from Manning Cup will go pro? And even if them do a play in an MLS, can you say them as some big talent? Stand out, yeah, yeah. Stand out talent? No. But a Jamaica, they're my king and, 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 and Ray. And guess what? Two wee boots out that way that them stop work. To me, I think that was my greatest benefit. Attending Greater Pomo High School and coming to Kingston, I always approved myself. Yeah. And nobody at all never knew me. To me, that's why my career takes so long to kick off to. Because yeah. you have to understand that I go against Ricardo Cousins, Eric Vernon. When I call him name there, right now, Errol Stevens' name right now still no big like a Navian boy. A record of cousins. Yeah, no man, you think so? <laughs> I tr I trouble me again. No, but, brother. But in, but in my time, to be honest with you, yeah, them bigger than you, but no. Yeah, yeah, yeah you maybe know. Yeah, maybe know. But in my football days, I couldn't pull my mouth and say my good like Navian. And me and Navian are bridging, me and Navian play under 21, everything. We couldn't do it. We couldn't say my good like cousins. We couldn't good say my good like Steve Morris. You mad want people buckle me? In my latter part of my career, yes. Yeah. Yeah, from on it go forward. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna represent Jamaica. Yes, but before that, brother, me know we couldn't pull them out. But mm -hmm. as I'm saying, we can talk from my experience until I say the way how we are develop football in Jamaica are the wrong way. We only have focus on win at school boy level, at at whatever level we can get like a bragging rights off. But that's why we think looks so now. Yeah, but me and you talk about the interested part. I was watching a video, so people if you have been watching. You can just click on Ryan LFC's story. I share that video to my community. And the first, like, six minutes, I'm really, really impressed what um, the player has been saying. But one more ask you still. Um, what do you think? Because me think still in a brother. When yeah. you talk about tactically and stuff and how they, 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 they coach them work and stuff overseas. I think, I think coaching have to do it with still in a the coaching have to deal with it, man. The coach him need to go over, go over, go back culture to culture, go to different, different, and get that experience to come and bring it to Jamaica. That's why me think a coaching are the problem. If me I go be honest with you, we never say it's coaching is not the problem. But as we say, are they not? Right, okay, example. Well. For me, under Tapa Mantis or under Schaefer, there was much different. In term. And as we say, the reason I say that. Because we only see them for three, four days before our match. Mm -hmm. You see, if we got employer overseas coach, mm -hmm. we need to find one who can come and work with the youths them from 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 age eight to twelve. We have to go hire a coach for one. It's like America give one ten year visa. Mm -hmm. We have to get a coach one ten year contract 
and make him work with every club. He's for one different club level. Work with the club them and teach the youth them how to play tactical football, how to move, when to run and when not to run. Because guess what? You can't, you can't, you know, your build up phase that try to keep position of the ball. And you have a 5v6 and everybody around going. Mm-hmm. Can you need teammates to play out? So we have to know when to play. As I said, them things that we may tell you from other things, we may have to go outside of Jamaica to learn. Mm-hmm. No coach never sit me down and tell me that. May I tell you something, coach, sit me down and teach me. You have to know when to run and when not to run. I tell you, I watch our national team play. And I sit down and watch the TV. And you see a 5v5. You know what? Uh, 5 versus 5. So that means every man mark. One national team are play. And when you look, some man pass the ball, in the move again. In pass the ball, and stand up and look like, oh, amazing grace. Who oh, the man will give the ball after that? Them things, they're things where you have to know. Them things, as a team, you have to can recognize. We have to can recognize say, a 5v6 and a oh, error alone free, where I get the ball to error. As a team, you have to can. I never tell you to the player them to know it, but as I say, just looking at me, I tell you my honest opinion. I, I, I that the Mexican them know, I that the Panamanian them know, I that USA know. They know that Jamaica is technically enough to play out from the back with two touches. Mm-hmm. So, you know, what we are going to do them, we are going to just press them and then we are going to kick with the ball, or we are going to take it and put it on the ground. And when them come for the ball now, we are going to show them how we can keep position on the ball. Because that's all I'm doing. And, th- and, and that's just my analysis. When the Mexican them have it, it's how they make them feel big. And play out from the back and the goal. If you watch a match right there with Mexico, when they come back from the two one and they lead, you say, Oh, we just have chased the ball, even though shot one man. Mm-hmm. Are you prefer like, of 10 man? We always a chase, chase. Them. Always a chase, brother. Because we always feel like say, I'm a running play football, brother. I hope it's a football player. And if example, we as all right, let me tell you something. This are, when we lose when a team lose the ball, at the best time for win back the ball. So it's when Mexico them, but guess what? It's if you the team will lose the ball, I mean gain possession of the ball. If you don't make it feel big enough, quick enough, one man can't press three man. Mm-hmm. So what I mean by that, if we win the ball in an hour half, you still have the wing back each upside of the centre back. The striker alone have to press the two of them and them all have no other choice than to kick with the ball. Because they don't lose the ball at them defensive third. Because once they lose the ball, they so brother, as far as me can tell you, so when me there Thailand. Even all my game develop more. My coach used to tell me, say, once you're in the box, I run the box. There's no say the defender a year one. Because automatically the defender feels for tackle in and around the box. Them little stuff there. I'm not going to say the players them don't know anything about brother, just watching the team, I just feel like say, we're not we grassroots not daily. Mm-hmm. And until we, we grassroots daily, we never we never gonna work up again because football now play like back then, a different something now. Yeah. And you talk about something where I really want to touch back. You make some very valid point. You know, when much the United States play in Canada, I don't see the United States press it like all oh, them press. When I see them press Canada, oh, they press me. Back off and risk, even when the Mexico and the USA stand up. What do you think I cause that? Because they think, oh, you know, say Mexico press the United States, so they have got danger. What do you think them, 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 them give them team the respect? They don't really press them, just press them, them set chop. So you come in at the midfield and them set chop and then them become realized when two, even when Liverpool are play, them know mm-hmm. say, if them don't press and win the ball, them dead. Them are dead. Dead. Yeah, yeah, brother, because guess what? It's a, it's a tactical game, brother. And end of the day, football mm-hmm. playing aligns. You get what I mean? So yeah. you try to play it from the defensive third. The reason why them press, the opposing team wants them technically enough to play out of the press there. And then at the end of the day, the first press, Mm-hmm. And literally free flow for go to your goal in the brother. Because most of the time, the way all them teams they were set up tactically. If you ever look on Liverpool or any one of them team there, them set up in a lines where once them get past your press, the quality where them have up front, example when you say they are Thailand. Most of the time, even with my coach, you used to tell me, say, wait for the ball in you know, the attacking turn. Because at this time, I get the freedom to be creative, to do what you want. So with Jamaica now, the man them no say we're not technical enough to keep the ball. So you them think have, you know that you think them because you think them study way you think them watch you. They not they not for watch. Me not say them not watch you. They not for study way. But it's a modern day football now. Mm-hmm. Players can't spot and see say you're not good enough for play with two touch. As in even in terms of that, I'm mean, not talking about individually. We talk as a team. When them look and them see the wing back stand upside at the centre back, them know say you know 
as a team who do not understand football. Because if you decide that you're a centre back with, with a five yard pass, one man can come win the ball. If the wing back depend the line and the centre back there in the 18 yard box, look on that big gap. The one man can cover that. But at the end of the day, game after game, I don't miss it on my TV. We now make the field big enough. Even when we have the ball, we have eight players in our half alone. You don't need eight players in one half to play out from the back. You just need probably two centre back them, a central midfield, and a, and a floating number eight where I try to stay behind the line to play out from. Them something they win not doing. So therefore, simple, it, simple. Was simple, well, the simple thing they might be between a football and a talent, and a talent to beat Jamaica. I just, I just the basics, I just the fundamental. When I say, I never learn it at Jamaica. Anything you hear me, I tell you. And then the, and then the coach at Jamaica tell me that like, overseas, I go and sit down and people put them things in my brain and show me why if you do this and why if you do that. Mm-hmm. So as I say, I don't go bash the program and say, but as I say, we not, until we understand. The, as I say, yeah, watch, brother, watch art. Tell the truth. You feel pleased to watch the natural team? You feel like you watch a game? No, Virgin. No, brother, but if you watch any little, if you watch. You know, we can't compare with the EPL or the team, but most teams nowadays can play out from the back. Canada, USA, everybody. Yeah. Canada, all right. Well, the thing with Mexico, with Jamaica, they never tried that with USA. They never tried that with a Canadian team because they know that if they go down there for press and the man them break them line and get behind them, they might go counter them. Yeah. So, therefore, what them do? They sit back and wait at half line. I guess at the end of the day, you want to make the space smaller for them, so the less space they have to play, the harder the game is for them. I just that with football, brother. Yeah, boy. Even even when even when um our goalkeeper passing, but when we realize with the team with my with our goalkeeper, one of the best, I have to give him credit, one of the best in like the MLS and stuff. When we believe with with our team, you see, if they do pass out the ball and they make a mistake, they're afraid. Yeah, man, because and that, the... that's where it come when you say when you come to the academy them teacher no matter if you make the mistake continue, continue. continue. that's how you ever get the can I realize when blake even play with the ball in free even the center back even them for pass the ball in the midfield even when me i watch all the jamaican team me say every man want to come for the ball like a sunday game where i play it just, it just sitting to watch and when people are say we can't play out the ball and we can't pass it because the fundamental are the thing when you say both player can't take one or two touch. I realize when I watch Liverpool, I see the man, them, sell them. Before they even get the ball, they might glance. I see with this Jamaican team. Nobody not willing to run. You're not going to get the ball, but run to create space for the opponent. These are the fundamental things when I learn at Excelsior. You know? I never get it at Boystown, but I get it at Excelsior. Always check. Always the first when you are look when you are past the when they receive the ball, you must know where your first option they you know you're supposed to see where the man and that's a meeting. Um, Stephen, if we want to do something and, and compete at the highest level, the fundamental of the thing from the grassroots, we we'll have to just build it from the grassroots. People might say, Yo, this is going to take an adapt with the football federation, they don't willing to put in the work, they don't willing to put in the grassroots or to be a bit, they just want to start from top. Me believe it's going to be very hard for us to implement and put in the um to get the the I don't want to say English player, me about international Jamaican international player playing overseas. It's going to be very hard because most of our best player them playing overseas. So what you need to do? Everybody coming up from the um the age where you say from eight under fifteen under seventeen, the club team never play one system. But the end of the day, it's when them leave. And not playing for Jamaica and them come back, they understand the system because they are already know it from a tender age. They know how the team going to play. We can't start from the top and we keep on a try to start this from the top, plug on this, and it's not going to work. Well, as I say, to be honest with you, if if a player they are Liverpool, let's say, let's say, me the rather if you use a Dutch player, if you have a Dutch player where they are. In Alan and him, let's go. Van den Berg. We Van used to Van Yeah. If you ever play where they're in any developed first world country where I play football, no matter where them go, even if the system change, football has to be football. As I say, you have some basic fundamentals in football we now we now learn or, or we now get taught early enough or we not understand. So at that, we now go say 
if every club at Jamaica play four four three, means say when them go national team, it go make it much easier. But as I say, if we get to the basics of the thing, as I say, for the last couple of years, all we do use local players till we get to the last eight, and they will bring in a bag of foreign players and things. Say it go work. Now it go work, and it now we do it every every campaign. Mm-hmm. Every campaign, and as I say, it, it, it just now works. So after you, you have to spend time and, and money and effort and start develop the youths them and the football in the country. Yeah. You think one day your experience, me know you are coach a youth them and thing. You, you think you know, ever go do a course and say you want to do this professional level? Or you're just happy, or you're all right, right? Now? You know, if you be honest, me do me do a contract of uh, license the other day, nothing major. On yeah. a big scale, and me a coach a few kids, but bro, to be honest, in family life and everything, me have to, me not say more than never take up coaching. But if I, if I, that way they can lead me there, it will happen. I just know, I just wear my hat, and the kids and everyone me we can coach. Yeah, try pass on them. So you talk about we're not going to make any World Cup until we do it. The basic and the fundamental thing. What watching the national team, you say the simple thing because we have good player. We, yeah, see, we have we have good player. But what you see, we are the wrong in the World Cup qualifier. That's why we never. Well, that's why we now go to the World Cup. What you think? Some of the thing when you look at it, you say, boy. Even if they may do this or them do that, what you think? What you think? Based on all over the campaign and thing. Yeah, well, as I said, from my experience. It, it, it hard to sum it up in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. But as I said, if you look on Japan 98, we could have beat Japan. We can't even, we, we can't even draw a match with Japan right now for our best day. And if I go off for the campaign, like me a Fox man, I like to have both Fox. Mm-hmm. Right now, we can't play USA. We can't play Mexico. I say so we can't play them. As I said, beat them. Consistent. Beat them. Beat them like how Canada can beat a Mexico now, and like how Canada can beat a USA now. If Jamaica cannot defend for 90 minutes and get lucky upon a counter for score a goal, but any one of them big teams, they're the only way we can beat them. Do we overlook with Costa Rica the last match, mm-hmm. or we have time on the ball because they, they, they can't come first week? Yeah, we can't do that with a Mexico, we can't do that with a Canada. You will never, you will never, may we not live to see that if we continue how we are playing. Because we can't keep the ball under pressure. We don't know how to do it. We, and, 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 and this are just, I'm going to tell you, I used to in the national team, and me used to also wonder why we can't keep the ball or the next team keep the ball. Yeah. So ah, this are just, yes. Yeah, man. So, so, so this are just me, I'll be open and honest with you, and I'll brainstorm things. Even when me used to play, when when, when they would play Colombia, I used to wonder why it seemed like them have 12 men. Are fifth, are fifteen, are sixteen, man. When I live against level, yeah, man. As a god living brother, I'm depend on the feeling. I wonder why it look like them have more than we. Mm. I'm depend on the feeling in the jersey, you know? and we feel that from a teammate. Then why it feel like say every time we go over yes, so the ball go over this and like the, the more than we are, you know. So I experience and knowledge and, and things me I tell you when we learn. Why I can look on it today and tell you, say, when we go up on a field with USA or Costa Rica, I mean, USA or Mexico, or, uh, Canada, it's a rough to beat none of them team there in a football game. Because our game is just to keep the ball long and, and hope, say, we get the second ball. I hope, say, we get a counter and lucky and score a goal. But we can't play a Mexico or a Canada or USA the way how we play a Costa Rica or any little Caribbean country. Boy, Bridget, I always think so, you know, I say, oh, boy, we have a defense, we have a defense, we always have a fair defense, Bridget. When it go over, Bridget, when we go step on Canada, I come to see Canada play and Mexico have to respect them, they have a fair back up. USA have play them, they have a back up, they have a respect. But when they play Jamaica, oh, we have to press them, we have to high press them, and we have to win it and stuff. Jesus Christ, Bridget. Yeah, man, and as we say, you have to talk fast. As we say, it's not like we have make up things in the brother. Yeah. And something where if you are watch football, if you know a little bit more football, you look at your TV, you must wonder why. Watch the Panama match, the first match where um, yeah, and I think Stone play. Yeah. The stadium. Whether we don't make three passes for the first half, forty-five minutes. If we make three passes, we play. 
If we make three consecutive pass, 45 minutes, I pay you. And the man them they now own a stadium and look like a film home girl. And a yeah, so, and a eleven and a eleven versus eleven. What you think? You think say a talent we not have? As some of the best right now, the group of players probably the best group of players we have in the East Church, Jamaica. True squad deep too. Squad deep. deep. And we can tell you that maybe the best squad we have from Jamaica named Jamaica. But Panama make it look like say them play football and we play another school. Cause Panama coach no football. And even if you go back, even if you go back and watch the match right now, brother, just look how Panama set up. Just look how they make them feel big enough for them half. And just allow for come press and just play behind away. And the man them know for use the pitch, brother. And the players them understand football and know. We, we just to me just me, this is my honest opinion. Until we get to that level day, and it have to be with the next generation. And it have to start now. I will start, I will forget, get, will get some some coach. Go down a, Go down a Spain, go down a Dutch, go get some coach, you know, tactical football. And get them not only for coach the national team, get them for come and teach the youths them with them youth the over this are learn. You see anything with them youth they are learning, Alan, and don't a Spain, and don't a France, come teach them a Jamaica that. Alright, so my answer question. You think say, I'm in a style, no local coach. You think the local coach them in a Jamaica know where the Dutch coach them know, where the Spanish coach them know, where the French coach them know? No. No, brother, there must be there's, there's levels to this. And this is not styling no local coach. But there's levels to this, brother. Uh, you think say uh, Pep Guardiola know, a local coach know, or a, 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 a local coach are implemented to film level. Mm. No. So until we get somebody if you, you know the best idea me that tell Jamaica, it's a Ryan Sterling. Don't ask him for no money if you donate to nothing in Jamaica. Just ask Ryan Sterling when you're done with ball. For come teach the youths them way my learn from Pep. Mm. Just get up on thousand Jamaican youth fans, especially from the garrison them, because the garrison youth them love ball and, and, and we're naturally talented. Get Sterling for, for teach with Pep teaching. Mm. And but brother, it's sure that when most of the Jamaican players them go overseas and when them come back and them 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 keep on and say. Them, them think they didn't know. And when they go over there, they feel learn the game all over again. That yeah, tells brother. something. Yeah, brother. That tells something when you leave other country and then you go over there and you learn something different. Yes, bro. And as I said, me alone go up on a pitch right now, can't help Jamaica. Yeah. We need more you, than one people. We, we need, need we need a team. We need everybody to understand football and the level of football I play now. If you look like oh a U you see you see USA USA export a bag of them player go as some of the biggest country them mm. you know much player them setting to know Germany we see you now how much of them have in a Barcelona and send them going to them U team the academy and right now all of that are beer fruit look at all of them know what play for USA a police teach them and all of them Reina, Reina. Reina. All, of them, um, all of them in the best academy in the world and that wasn't by accident. That was planning. Hey, you know, say, Klinsman, the former USA coach, he mm -hmm. said this about the United States soccer. The man said, until United States players stop sacrifice for MLS, because he were beating the MLS bad. That's one of the things that them are doing feel from qualify for the World Cup. But what the structure him, 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 the structure where him put in, in the United mm -hmm. States, them reap the benefit. The man say, yo, the best young player them need to go to Europe, them need to go to France, them need to go to Netherlands, they need to go to Germany, to learn because this is where football is. And the United States fans, them, them jump on him. Hmm. But that statement the way I make, I say, yo, we can't sick of a player alone in the MLS. We player them need to play in the biggest to compete. Because I mean, by now, you get enough time you know, to play, to play, to play, um, um, Country football, they ain't get enough time. But when you go out there and knowledge, so the more person go overseas and get the knowledge and then come back with the national team, they are easy to coach. Better even the environment, a Jamaica football is no professional. Football is semi-pro, if if even semi-pro. You ever see a local ball it and ask him about when he get paid? Yeah. True, man. Cause even even me when me sign contract on it and boy stone, me sign for thirty-five thousand. 
and my youth born and a man I tell me say yo a fifteen thousand and them yeah, brother, there's no yeah, I go to site work most of the players them go work at Tankwell Tankwell uh, but brother, you can lift up steel and thing and, brother, lift, and then come back brother I a fox here talk as I say for the youth you, them in a Europe you think the police teach ever go up on a site and go work mm. police teach in the academy just, a, just a, a do football three four times a day whether in a classroom, whether on the field, and it's in talent. And you uh, go work on site, <laughs> come play with him, and be, or me go work at Tankwell, or me go do this. And play. No, brother, we, don't have, we, need to in, we need to invest in the youth and develop professionals. In, a, in a most of them countries, yeah, football is like any other talent. Like a job. job. When, they, when, they, when, they, when they say you want to be a footballer, a footballer, you have to 24-7. Like when we see Mount Pleasant, I do know. Mm. Where football, they have a school and the kids them go football school and they learn football and them train. That is that is all the European country. If we could get a toes of pity from Jamaica for go Spain and then big country there, any country in a Europe where where a perfect Belgium and go to some professional environment with our raw talent, we have some of the fastest players in the world. Even that was the, the blessing to me and the Jamaicans when we play with overseas with speed. Mm. Well, obviously, we just not have the brain piece to go along with it, pan the team and the tactical side of things. So, that all about better. Most definitely. Bridging, I'm telling you, Bridging. Um, copy the Bridging, and you send me a couple of voice notes, and I watch your video, and I learn so much thing. I mean, I said, Janu, imagine this brother, I go overseas and learn so much thing. And most of my learning, you know, brother, I do in the interview with them, you know. Yeah. No system and all of them things, when me a player. I talk about it and oh professional and when me learn from Excel you know. My coach they tell me, say, yo, when you leave Excel, unless you go overseas, you will never ever get an next treatment. No way in Jamaica, unless you go overseas, go play professional football. And you see when me look when me learn I Excel, I may, may I tell you that, brother. I learn so much thing, I learn about health. Eat properly, eat on time, what to eat, all of these things in the bridging. Get your rest, get your tablet, and all of them things. When we look at the national team, brother, I see the man of my prepare breakfast. When I see the man of my eat breakfast, I see the man of my eat chew chicken, fried chicken. And I say, yo, you go play how much? A couple hours, five hours, and then you eat that. You go, f- can't move, brother. Don't clean. I don't, don't clean for me, for, for me, for me, for me, and I can honestly tell you, I eat boiled well, dumpling. And that because my wife a foreigner. Mm. My diet, even them things they're not going, brother. Like you mentioned, your diet of a cheese. I mean, you can't eat wild dumpling and run from them good. Mm. But in the professional world right now, brother, everything play a part. Or awesome. you, you sleep, or you eat. And these are the things I tell them, brother. I never go overseas go play about. Me come to a system where I excel, sir. The man, the, we are got a doctor go check up. And thing where I drink cane juice, where I, where I get to rest. That's how I was, was stay up on campus. I remember my last year, man say, Boy Rima, you have to take everything. Cause when you leave, you say, I'm go play for boys. Them the business boy, yo. them the business where you sleep, them the business where you eat, them the business nothing about you. Them all them business about winning. And me learn so many professionally. I'm telling you, bro, I learn a lot, brother. So when I come and I see the national team, I see them money, I eat them thing. I'm gonna say, yo, them thing you're not supposed to I eat people. No Listen to me. Ball like her, big up yourself, big up yourself. People you know, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, brother. I record this, you know. I never have a um Craig Butler, the only one when I have will go over five. Fifteen hundred watch me live with Craig Butler interview, and then I do so many interviews, and then you come. Second record to have 533 people and the like, Bridging. I really, really appreciate that. But what when you eat in a Thailand, do when you eat because remember, in a Jamaica, we have a England, you know, them have pasta and thing. When you eat a Thailand and Russia, fair, 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 fair before you know, play the game, to be honest, almost the boiled food, rice, if, even, even, even if the chicken, yeah, you know, fry, no, not all, you know, eat none of them kind of food. So yeah, mostly vegetable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. But dump but I think also we're coming out of the dumping are just the culture. Cause we people in the boil dumping at them side there the world. Mm. And as you realize dump, dumping really heavy. Yeah. 
Yeah. It, 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 it's a man. man. Sorry, I'm boss. Yeah, man. Know yourself, man. But people, I really appreciate every one of you guys joining in and thing. Boy, if I could have get the likes to 400, that'd be big, big people. Yeah. You understand? 533 are you guys. So make yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, bro, me have to go, me have to go, um, because I have a wife and you have a kid. Yeah, boy. You think there's a, oh, I got two, I never get more. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, that's bad. You have a thing. Okay, so I appreciate the time, you know. Trust me, yeah. I appreciate the time. Yeah, Virgin, trust me, why you, may I tell you, a whole heap of big people go watch your interview. One of the things, brother, where uh, my boy, um, my boy called me yesterday, when me I go home, on my daily, you farm a put more play. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Ryan, you know, say, you know, who just messaged me a while ago? A man email me and say, yo, me, I watch an interview in a bit. I say, yo, the ball, I'm emailing me and I say, yo, I want to get for the program, I want to share my story. So, first play, I watch it and then imp impress with the thing and then I want to come on the platform. So, big up to all the past players, the man thing, but. Errol, I'm not going to hold up no more, Bridging, because I see the kids them need them time and think, brother. Yeah, what the last the thing, time. brother? What are you last saying to the young player? Them? What you could have tell some of the young youth them in Jamaica want to be professional football? Because I know you always work hard, go run the sands and thing. What are you last saying you say to the youth them if they want to be professional? And if you want to um, be successful in anything, what advice would you give to the young man them in Jamaica? Yeah, uh, faith. Have faith in a God. Work hard and just know say what is for you is definitely for you. Yeah, man, and nothing I go come through, nothing else but hard work. You just work hard and be patient with yourself and give God time for work. Yeah, man, because we never hold up down days if we think that was it. Just don't give up, man. Don't give up. Yeah, man. Thank you, Errol. I'm going to close off and I'm going to tell the people them. And yeah, man, and tell them what they can find here, your YouTube channel or your football channel. Tell them what they can find here on Instagram. Yeah, man, so you have Life with the Stevens family channel and you have my the Errol Stevens show. Me, 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 I take Ryan advice and try to do a video. Yeah, bro, you and can link me, bro. I may do some video and do yeah, some Yeah, do some video. Yeah, man, you can do some live. I go try a one video. Every yeah. other week or like, until year, you know, because the family. Yeah, man, brother. Me, me share them, brother, because the people they want to hear it, brother. It's never. Yeah, man, I mean, push back here, man, because it should be tough. All right, Bridget. I appreciate it, Bridget. People who, who also come over from the um the family, here yeah. the family, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you guys like what I'm doing. So if you guys can just hit that subscribe button for me, I would really, really appreciate it. I would. Yeah. Guys. Thank subscribe, you. Subscribe, guys. And yeah, man, you have to give them thanks. Cause I know mean, a lot of them from life with the Stevens over here. Bro, I think most of them over there, bro. I think probably 250 out of the crowd are my crowd. So yeah, man, the real people them, them support you anyway. Whether me and the wife or the family, they support you everywhere. Yeah, yeah. most of them. And shout out to the people them on Facebook. Thank you guys for joining over on Facebook. I really like it and things. So make sure you guys smash a like on the video. But thanks, man. Um, era. Yeah, man. Bless your friend. All right. So here you have it, people. Another reggae boys player come and share him story. So I really, really appreciate every one of you guys listening to the story. It's some fantastic story, people. I'm telling you, I have a special football player. Sometime, probably tomorrow, or uh, whether it's going to be Sunday, or uh, because sometimes I like to give a video, them, them do them course, make them do them time. But stay tuned. Nothing much to talk about the reggae boys, but definitely I will have present reggae boys player and past reggae boys player doing them interview. So you guys can look out for one, the player that play the last game against Costa Rica. It's going to be a player who playing that last game will be the next one to be interviewed. So make sure you guys um tuning in for it. I'm not going to tell you the player name. So People have almost 500 people on the likes. Can us get to 400 likes, people? I'm asking you guys. I'm begging you guys. Get the video to 400 likes, people. I would really, really appreciate that. And also, too, um, 98 of you guys on the chat haven't subscribed as yet. What are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button. This is the place where you get the exclusive Reggae Boys content and stuff i really appreciate every one of you guys tuning in big up to shame big up to fresh god big up to king big up to patrick big up to all the females in, in the building load music big up yourself lion king football entertainment 
big up yourself um big up big up to every single one of grant big up yourself um special edition big up yourself fresh card big up yourself run 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 up top big up yourself i really appreciate every one of you guys tuning into the thing and i must say man i appreciate it man without you nothing is possible and don't forget to check out the reggae boys merchandise we have every different type of merchandise we have at we have mugs and we have hoodie we have t-shirt we have everything people the link pin in the description so unfortunate i didn't open the phone line for some of you guys calling in and share your thought and thing but next time i will do i didn't remember it until we're leaving so Lord music big up out of love to all of the people them man really really appreciate it people fresh god prince people i'm begging you we need 10 more likes 10 more likes to get it to 400 people come on people like the video people just get it to, to 400 people all right six more like people come on people like it i'm being good i'm being good for the message so great interview so people watching back on the replay make sure you smash the like button and share your thought down in the comment section you know you get a full two-hour interview with Stephen um, Errol. So make sure you guys smash it. Reggae, where's it? Ryan, remember the Gregor girls? I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'm going to see if I can get an interview with some of the reggae. You know, I, I could, but it's just me to just apply. It. So big up, big up, big up, um, sweetheart, big up. Yes. All right, people. So I really appreciate it. So we get it to 400. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button, people, and stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the next interview or the day after. So, so big up, big up, man. Appreciate it. So as usual, people, I'm going to leave you guys with my favorite um, football game of all time. And I want to tell you guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. Can Jürgen's men rise against every obstacle in front of them tonight? Saved by the goalkeeper and in by Diva Carigi. And Liverpool have scored early. And Marley's in the middle, there's not much else to aim for. Now the race, it's in! It's Ginny Vinalda for Liverpool! He's caught in a beauty! Vinalda! Oh my goodness gracious me! The unthinkable! The unbelievable! Liverpool are level from three down against Barcelona! The raw emotion of what going on in this game. Oh, no. Origi! Oh, no. Liverpool discovered it! He's it! What a piece of quick thinking from Trent Alexander-Arnold! And Diva Origi has two! And Liverpool have four! And they are on the precipice of the greatest night of European champions! Yes, my people, I wish the Jamaica national team can play like that. That's my dream for 2026. Let us see if the Jamaican can accomplish that. That was a big game by Liverpool and Barcelona in the Champions League. Every time I watch that game, tears come to my eye. I want to tell you guys, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And don't forget to go and check out Errol channel, okay? Really, really appreciate it. So, um, people, as I said, really appreciate it. Like the video and hit that subscribe button. So, peace out. Later. Can Jürgen's men rise against every obstacle in front of them tonight? Still Henderson, saved by the goalkeeper, and in by Diva Carigi. And Liverpool have scored early. And Marley's in the middle, there's not much else to aim for. Now the race, it's in! It's Ginny Wijnaldum for Liverpool! He's caught in a beauty! Wijnaldum! Oh my goodness gracious me! The unthinkable! The Liverpool are level from three down against Barcelona. The raw emotion of what's going on in this game. Oh, no. Origi! Oh, no. Liverpool discovered it! Discovered it! What a piece of quick thinking from Trent Alexander-Arnold. And Diva Origi has two. And Liverpool have four. And they are on the precipice of the greatest night of European champions. And uh, them here, this is Boom Boom, aka World Boom, the Billboard Selector. 
And me I represent for Ryan LFC to get the latest Reggae Boys contact. Just hit that like and subscribe.